I don't think it's been three minutes. That seems, uh, that feels, that feels like an over-exaggeration to me. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't over-exaggerate how long it's been. I don't think so. Oh, happy Friday, chat. Scotty, thank you for the 25 months, brother. Sapiter, thank you so much for the sub. Finn, thank you for gifting a sub to your, your, your conscience. To your conscience. Welcome to the Hammers, your conscience. Michelle, thank you for the six months. Clueless Morgan, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you for supporting the stream with kindness. Hey, Z, chat, thank you. How nice you were during the raid the other night. It was my birthday. See, oh, that was awesome, dude. I didn't even know that. That is so cool. That is, that's sick, dude. Jay, thank you for the two months. Much love from Finland. So I'm very self-conscious. I mean, I fair, fair. What's Sangala shirt? Dude, I actually, this is a Sangala shirt. This is um Ezra FC. I actually forgot where Ezra FC is from. You have to go to the Sangala website to see. <laughs> Uh, but it, it, it's sad. Check your boy, Macwell Z. He's not okay. Well, they just lost to um, Indonesia, which basically means they're out unless they beat Iraq in the final game. And Vietnam is probably not going to beat Iraq because Iraq just beat Japan. Now, if you're like, how is that possible? Well, you've never met Iraq in the Asian Cup because they are unbelievably good in the Asian Cup. Suck in World Cup qualifying. But in the Asian Cup, Iraq just comes together and like manages to actually play incredibly well. Um, it's the thank you for the 13 months of the prime. Louis Boy, thank you for the nine. Ball Bear, thank you so much for the 17. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. Enjoy your ad free experience. Tristram, thank you so much for the prime of the 22 months. Yeah, Macwell's doing live watch alongs of Vietnam matches, and they just lost, I believe it finished 1 0. I was looking at it a little while ago. Uh, yes, Vietnam lost 1-0 to Indonesia. Although I did hear that Vietnam was, like, hanging in the game. Yeah, and they got a red card. But that was, like, right at the end. That was the 92nd minute. Cape Verde also beat Mozambique. Which, like, in the beginning of the tournament, you would have been like, yeah, that's that's cool. Jefferson, thank you for the three months, dude. I appreciate you. Mega Boo with the prime for the 16 months. Awesome sauce with the prime for the four months. Thank you, brother. Thank you for supporting the stream. Oh, did I watch uh, Garib's goal on Oman? Kind of. Not kind of. Yeah, like we watched it on stream. Abdul Rahman Garib, Nak Breda legend, scored a banger of a goal against Oman. It was an amazing goal. So Japan's going all the way. I mean, they might. Like you can lose a game in this tournament and go all the way, but do not discount Iraq. Iraq is like, oh, Maxwell, we're just talking about Asian Cup. I am so sorry, brother. I am so sorry. Chat, we need emotes. Chat, we're getting run over by the Vietnamese watch party. We need emotes, chat. They've come in with so much power. They're going to get another red card. We need emotes. Grab whatever emote you have. Go to the walls. I'm sorry about, uh, I'm sorry about Vietnam. That was your opportunity. That was your opportunity. Dona Zeus, thank you so much for the prime. Oh, that was your chance. You guys missed it. You got to be happy for Iraq, though. Big win for Iraq. They are always good in the Asian Cup. They're good in the Asian Cup again, you know. So, but I'm not a soldier, but nobody... Nobody is Cape Verde, unfortunately, because Cape Verde got a group with Ghana and, and Egypt, two teams that, you know, Egypt's won more AFCONs than anybody. Ghana's won it like three times. Both teams are always great and always competitive. And Cape Verde has now, after two matches, guaranteed that it will finish in first place in that group. Cape Verde has guaranteed that it, it has six points. Nobody has more than two. Friggin' Egypt drew Mozambique and Ghana. Hasn't even played Cape Verde yet. And they won't have Mo Salah. 
Ghana is going to play against Mozambique and probably win. Cape Verde beats Egypt. Egypt's out. Is this a tie kit? No, this is Ezra FC, and I'm offended you didn't know that. We hate Thogden. He was there, wasn't he? He was the Vietnam, uh, yeah. He was there. Did Iraq won. Iraq has a more recent Asian Cup than like South Korea, Saudi Arabia. Iraq is. Iraq won the Asian Cup in 2007. They are very competitive in that tournament. They're very competitive in that tournament. Fenton, thank you for the gifted sub, the Governo brother. And if you're coming over from Mackwell's stream, how you doing? My name is Zealand. Just in case we haven't met, I don't know. Mackwell and I did World Cup watch alongs for a few days to the kickoff of the World Cup. So you probably met me then if you didn't. Nice to meet you now. He was sitting right in this room. When we watched Saudi Arabia beat Argentina, it was <laughs> whatever you do, don't check my Twitter. Well, that sounds fun. I'm going to check your Twitter. <laughs> Dude. My question is, who is paying Thogden to be at the Asian Cup? Like, what what Saudi prince is like, yo, Thogden, I'm going to pay for you to go to every Asian Cup match and just pretend to be Asian. Like, who's paying for it? That's my question. Like, I, I'm actually curious. The Qataris? Oh, it's the Qatari. Oh, yeah, dude. It's the Qataris for sure. Because they're, they're hosting, right? It's in Qatar. It's a, Andy, thank you for the uh, prime. Thank you for the eight months. Warriors, thank you for the five months. I appreciate you for supporting the stream, dude. Enjoy the ad-free experience. It's Qatar. Qatar is paying for it. Mackwell tweeted uh, a f*** you to Thogden, actually. Wait, which I'm like, who's this girl that's in this picture that you keep tweeting? Who's this? I know it's your pen tweet. I saw it when it went up. I don't know who it is. How uneducated am I if I don't know who that is? You're my wife. Oh, sick, dude. Congrats. Nicki Minaj. Oh. Is that like with one of those face filters on? Indonesian singer. Well, that's awkward. Oh, at least she's happy. Well, that makes sense now because they won. Yeah. That makes sense now. Yeah, uh, th so Qatar is paying for Thogden to go there. That makes sense. Oh, whatever. I'm sure he'll do something really reasonable with all that money. Jin, thank you for the two months. Hey, Zealand came from Maxstream. Wish us luck for the Malaysians after our 4 0 thumping. Dude, I was getting so much from the Malaysians about how good they were going to be in this tournament. And you guys got rocked in the first game. Rocked. Who's Mackwell? What is Mackwell? Mackwell is love. Mackwell is life. He's a fun YouTuber who's now streaming Vietnam uh, match watch-alongs. I've collabed with him before. I showed him around New York. He slept on my floor. It was pretty it was pretty sick. We did, bro. We got yeah. And there's gonna be another destruction tonight. Well, at twelve thirty, so in like forty minutes. Hong Kong and Iran is the final match. If anything other than Iran win an Iran win happens, I don't even know how to react. Senegal and Cameroon's about to kick off, which is one of the best group stage matches at AFCON. So we will be keeping track of what happens there. And then Guinea Gambia and the battle of who can have the most recent revolution and civil war. Uh, that'll be kicking off at 3 p.m. So very excited for both of them. But I try managing in the Singaporean League. Uh, no, because I don't hate myself. But it's probably fun if that's what you want to do. Is that even NFM? I don't think it's NFM. Oh my God, it is. 
This isn't even my job, is it? I'm just a, I'm a day walk. I, I don't even know what I'm doing. Singapore. I literally have it loaded as playable. I need to take a lap, dude. It's in the game. Oh, oh, dear Lord. It's in the game and I didn't even remember it was in the game. That's so embarrassing. Wow. You showed me. You really did. I didn't think it was in the game. That's why I said that. I'm washed. Dude, remember that Zealand era when he wasn't washed? Me neither. Me neither. Nope. Nope. That was my childhood, the Zealand era. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Macwell and Macwell's faithful. The Vietnam lost. But Indonesia is also like a potential feel good story. If they could somehow get out of the group, you needed the three points. Vietnam could to like could still technically get out of the group, but you have to beat Iraq and that is not going to be easy. All right. You have to beat Iraq. Japan is playing Indonesia, which means Japan's probably going to win. So as long as you beat Iraq and Indonesia loses, you'll get into third with three points, and then it just comes down to goal difference and how the other groups go. So you're not out. Like, you're not out of the competition. Oh, head-to-head -head comes before... Head-to-head -head goes before goal difference. Oh, all you need is Indonesia to beat Japan. Except you've also already lost to Japan. So, yeah, you're out. Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. Head to head first. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It's Viet over. Yeah, it, it is. It, it's over for Vietnam. They've been, uh, they've been well and truly destroyed. Oh, other news, by the way. I think I just tweeted about this. So, they, um... Cristiano Ronaldo says the Saudi league is not worse than league one. Saudi pro league is more competitive than league all. And I can say that after spending one year there, we are better than the French league already. Now says Fabrizio Romano. Um, so we'll just leave that there. My response to that was Jordan Henderson was just scared of the level of competition. Uh, that's why he left. So, Probably true. Um, now, the <clears throat> the thought process here is that no, yeah. So I know that was I, that was an actual tweet. I, I tweeted that, but the thought process here is Cristiano Ronaldo, and that was a tweet from Fabrizio Romano that he said that Cristiano Ronaldo either just got a big paycheck for saying that to Fabrizio or wherever he said it, the Fabrizio reported on or Cristiano Ronaldo has deluded himself into believing that. But Ronaldo wanted to sign when he was leaving Manchester United, he wanted to sign with a team in the champions league. Some, any team in the champions league, he got hit with the 100% no who want me hundred percent. No, which is fine. Cristiano Ronaldo is 38. He's like older than Wayne Rooney who's like been fired from two managerial jobs already. There is no shame in no Champions League club wanting to sign you when you're 38 years old. There isn't. I'm not here to dump on Ronaldo. He's 38. Right? When Ronaldinho was 38, I'm pretty sure he was already in prison for using a fake passport, right? Like his, he has sustained longer than anybody could have reasonably, like reasonably suspected. But Cristiano Ronaldo over two years has scored a goal per game in the Saudi Pro League. A goal per game. A goal per game. A goal per game. So either Leo made the biggest mistake of all time by not signing him for their Champions League campaign or it's not true. 
If no Champions League club wants you, and then you score a goal per game for two seasons of the Saudi Pro League, it's probably not better than legal. Like, in a weird way, his success is an indictment of the thing he's saying. But yeah, his contract absolutely includes paid promotion of the Saudi League. I'm sure this is part of that. But just to dissect this logically for a second. Only one goal per game in the Saudi League is actually irrelevant. I mean, when we put Manchester City in the Saudi League, Erling Holland scored like 47 goals in 22 games. Who are we talking about? This man in that tweet. We are better than the French League already now. Okay. I don't know. It's like you see this happen uh, with every elite athlete. Like all, a lot of the all-time greats, they usually struggle to know when like their actual level has decreased just a little bit. I mean, Ronaldo is still a good player, which is amazing considering he's you know 38 years old and he was so dependent on his physical ability, which he's maintained enough to be able to compete in that way. But like, it's amazing what how good he still is, but. It's that and and the paycheck setting. Cristiano Ronaldo, like he'll never declare it because this money is like definitely hidden around, but he's going to be a billionaire by the time he leaves Saudi Arabia. Is he better at Ibra? Is he better than Ibra when Ibra was at 38? Bro, I have no idea. I don't remember how good Ibra was at 38. Was that when he was at uh, Galaxy? Or maybe was he at Galaxy when he was like 37? Isn't he already a billionaire? I don't think so. I don't think he'll ever end up in like the Forbes list of billionaires, but he's definitely, you know, the economic value of Cristiano Ronaldo is definitely, yeah. He was at Milan when he was 38, so he'd already come back from the Galaxy. He was on the Milan title team. Well, he wasn't like a starter on the Milan title team, but he certainly was a great leader. That is something that we didn't really see coming from Ibrahimovic at the time. But no, I think cr seven's better than Ibrahimovic at that age. Was Thiago Silva 38 better than CR7 now? I mean, Thiago Silva manages to still play in a top five league. But I'm not saying Thiago, like Thiago Silva also plays a simpler position, a position that's perhaps a little, uh, perhaps a little less physically dependent, right? It's like, is Buffon better than Ronaldo because he was able to play into his 40s at a really high level? Like, I don't know, center back, you don't, like, it's not quite as physically dependent as playing striker. I mean, not to say it's not. Right, Thiago Silva is also doing an amazing thing, right, to play center back at Chelsea when you're like 39 years old. But he doesn't need to move nearly as much as Ronaldo does, right? You can use your savvy a little bit more. And so, but Thiago Silva is, I mean, he he would I would say he's aged in a similar way, he takes great care of his body and, you know, captain to Brazil team at a World Cup at like 37 years old, which is crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's apples and oranges, but both the apple and the orange have lasted an incredibly long amount of time, <laughs> right? They're like sprayed with all sorts of chemicals. In Ronaldo's instance, that's probably like tanning spray, right? And then just able to sustain forever. Pepe's like, yeah, well, Pepe's one of those guys where he just, he wants to keep playing. So he keeps marginally lowering his level until he finds a new team that'll take him. I feel like if I was a professional player, that's how I would retire. I wouldn't just stop playing. I would just keep playing until I was like 55 years old in a local league. And I like owned the local club, right? Like if I was a world-class player, I would just keep playing until I could find the best team that still wanted me. And he has to in Japan. Yeah. And he's having a great time there too. King Kazu. Well, now King Kazu is like a meme. Now, now he's like a meme. He went to that one Portuguese team, but I'm pretty sure that Portuguese team had like affiliation with the other club he was at. He's like a marketing stint. I wouldn't want to become a marketing stint. I'd want to actually play, right? Oh uh, yeah, he just moved to the UAE. Well, not not just. I would just I would guess six months ago. Was it a summer window? Was it summer window? He almost scored in August. Yeah, but he doesn't really play. He doesn't. He doesn't really play. 
Indonesia will uh, beat Japan and then advance to the next. I mean, look, four of the six third place teams, dude, four of the six third place teams in the Asian Cup go through. So Indonesia, all they have to do is not get blown out and they probably go. Right, because three point is somebody that simulates a lot of tournaments on Football Manager. Three points and a negative one goal difference, even a negative two, is usually good enough to get you through. Obviously, if they get any, if, if they even get a point against Japan, they don't need to jump over them. But even if they get a point, they're going. But as long as they don't lose by like four. They have a good shot of getting through as a third place team and making the Asian Cup knockouts, which would be huge for them. How are you? I'm doing well. Neymar is also injured. Yes. Iraq? Yes. China's about to become third with three nil-nil draws. You laugh, but I actually think that's going to happen. Who's their last match against? China played Tajikistan and Lebanon and scored zero goals. And they're dodging all the bullets because India actually had to play a good team in Uzbekistan and got smacked. Because Uzbekistan's like a competent national team that like always competes at a high level in Asia. And beat, you know, in India, but India's getting clowned for that, where China shows up and plays a much worse Tajikistan and much worse Lebanon team. And draws both of them nil-nil. And will now play a Qatar team that has already guaranteed first place and will rotate its entire squad. Because it's guaranteed to finish first in the group. So China will, like, I don't know, will probably be okay. And then if Tajikistan and Lebanon, there's a winner in that match, that team will probably go through as a third place team. Probably. There's always opportunities that glorious third place position to slip a few wild teams into the next round. Always. But AFCON just kicked off the latest matches. Senegal Cameroon is getting underway now. I forget what group that's in. Senegal and Cameroon. Oh, yeah, they're it's Guinea Gambia. Senegal won its first match against the Gambia. Cameroon drew Guinea. I think it was uh, Guinea actually had the lead 1-0, but then got a red card. Let Cameroon back into the game. How dare they? Uh, Andre Onana is playing for Cameroon. Yes, he is back against Sadio Mane and the Senegal dudes. I mean, I feel like they could have mixed up the colors of the flags in this group, though. Like, I really appreciate Gambia for bringing in, like, blue, you know? But if like 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 there are more than three colors. Yeah, yeah, I mean, far be it from I don't know what goes into making a flag. Right? Far be it from me to tell you how to make a flag. But there are more than three colors. Senegal, Cameroon, Guinea. No, you want to copy my homework and don't make it obvious. The most fascinating match I've ever hoped to watch is Guinea against Mali because let me pull up the flag of Guinea real quick and let me pull up the flag of Mali real quick oh my goodness am I my my first time using the internet open image and new tab that's all I want Open image, a new tab. Now, here's the fun thing with this. If you walk into the stadium holding a Guinea flag, right? if you walk into the stadium holding a Guinea flag and then accidentally hold it up upside down, You are suddenly rooting for Mali. You're going to like get beat up like, dude, I'm in the home section. Oh, I'm holding it up. Oh, sorry. Oh.
Well, not upset. You know what I mean? Like, turn it. If you literally just hold it direct, like, you would... Whatever, man. You know what I mean? If you mirror... It, you only need one flag to go to this match, and then whoever scores first, just hold it up that way. The problem is, however you hold it up, they're going to be looking at it. It's going to, you know, the perspective's all confusing. Guinea and Molly can just never play each other. They can just never play each other because it'd be too confusing. We'd all get lost. We wouldn't know what's happening. Now, the other one is, um, well, there's two. There's Chad and Romania. There's there's Chad and Romania, and then there's Ivory Coast and Ireland, but they use, like, different tints to the orange. So they're not the only... I'm like, dude, there's limitless possibilities when it comes to a flag. Just ask Mozambique, bro. I'm just looking at Mozambique. They've got an AK-47 on their flag. They have, like... You can do whatever you want. There's no rules. Nobody seems to notice this. And yet Chad and Romania are like, dude, let's do the same thing. Why? Put something cool on the flag. Just put something cool. Like, I don't know why, like AK-47, maybe not, but it's like an AK-47 and a hoe, like the farm equipment. Sound like I was writing a rap song there for a sec. Like you can put whatever you want. Just put a skull and crossbones, Chad. And all of a sudden, everybody's like, "Wow, Chad looks pretty sick." You know, like, "Wow, they're intimidating." <laughs> but now, Australia and New Zealand are like, "Oh, we'll make the stars different colors. Do something, man. Do something else." Yeah, they were actually just listening to like Chief Keef lyrics and they're like, we're making the flag, AK-47 in a hoe. Dude, write that down. Write that down. Are we taking a flag quiz right now? We're taking a flag quiz right now. You guys ready to drop in on this? We're taking a flag quiz right now. All the flags of the world. What's up? Is this the one? I feel like this isn't the one. Z, I want a rematch. Mac, while well, you don't, this is my Thunderdome. This is my Roman Empire. With, oh, the, my, the Roman Empire is also my Roman Empire, but this is my Roman Empire. But a states quiz? Dude, I mean, I, I live in the U.S. I should be able to name all 50 states, right? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. It, it, this isn't the one, though. This isn't the one. I don't think it, it flags... Flags of the world. That is the. It's like if I hit play, what happens? Oh, it just goes one at it. That's not big enough, though. Like, where where is the. Um... Do I have to make it bigger? Like, where is the. Isn't there one where, like, the flag pops up a lot bigger so people can see it? I don't want to do one where there's, like, full screen. Oh, I didn't do anything. We can see it. I mean, a lot of people are on their phones and stuff. I'm just saying. Flag quiz. This one? All right. Oh, it's multiple choice. Give me a break, bro. Tajikistan, by the way. Like, come on, make it difficult, you know? That ain't it. Senegal did score. Who scored? Senegal score was Ismail Asar. God, they have good players, don't they? Ismail Asar bags. Senegal is better than Cameroon. I put Senegal in the very top category of African teams. 
I don't have Cameroon there. And Senegal is making it look easy. They're up 1-0. In 17 minutes, the Onana meme continues. Someone link me the flag quiz where you can actually see the flag. Like, what is this? Why is it so tiny? Touch it. Uh, no. Once again, implying you to look at the best football crest of the world. Oh. I just can't look. Well, I know it's Iran chat. I'm, I'm, I'm asking for, yeah, is that the one? Flags of the world progressively harder. I, it won't, this isn't going to. Is this every flag? It looks like, yeah, yeah, it's every country's flag. Okay. Cool. I'll do that one. We'll get rid of this one. All right, so this is, what in the world are you doing? Uh, this is every country's flag, but progressively harder. And we're going to try and get every single flag in the world. And we have 20 minutes. So honestly, let's just chill for a little bit. Is there anything else going on? Mines is playing Union Berlin today. Oh, all of us in Cadiz are playing. That might be the worst La Liga match of all time. No, that should, that should, be, that should be fun. Uh, Sunderland and Hull. How's Sunderland doing, man? Are they doing okay? The old, the old team that I picked to be my Premier League team. Oh, they're in seventh. Oh, another tease season. They're totally not going up, but they're pretending they can. I know Leicester and Ipswich are up. Everybody's talking about how great Ipswich has been. And all the top teams in the uh, championship trying to spin their way back into the Premier League immediately. Union Berlin match is postponed. Oh, what happened? That's never a good, never for a good. Well, I mean, it literally says postponed. Snow. Oh, that's actually the best reason. Have yourself a snow day, lads. I've got the over on Hong Kong scoring four goals. All right. Um, Japan. Let's go ahead and knock a few out. Does it go Canada? Uh, UK. Yeah, we'll just knock, you know, knock some of the easy ones out. USA. USA. Vive la France, Germany. Switzerland, Israel, Italy. I'm surprised Brazil is so low, dude. Greece, Sweden. Oh, there's no second D in Sweden. Ireland. China. Ireland's ahead of China, dude. That's crazy. All right, I feel like that's good for now, you know. That's probably good for now. Do you guys see the first Cape Verde goal, by the way? Raise your hand in chat if you did not see the first goal that Cape Verde scored. Raise your hand if you did not see the first goal that Cape Verde scored, because it is a ba 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 banger. All right, let's pull it up. So this is Cape Verde against Mozambique earlier today. Cape Verde against Mozambique earlier today, chat. Now, look, okay, 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 okay. Look where he is before you watch this. This is Bebe from Cape Verde. Look where he is on the field. He is closer to the center circle than the box. Boop, knuckle, see ya. AFCON delivers literally every day. Dude, the late knuckle on that. The keeper has no idea what's going on. 
just hits a perfect knuckleball. I mean, goodness gracious me. That's absurd, isn't it? All right, let's crush the let's let's crush some more flags. That's Finland. Uh, do you think they take Espania? No, it has to be in English. Fine. <laughs> Jamaica. Wow, top 20 for most recognizable flags. Let's go, Jamaica. See, this is why no Nepal, really. Well, I guess like people don't really know what Nepal is. Turkey, New Zealand. Be really embarrassing if I didn't get that. Denmark. Yeah. India. Poland. Watch out for Monaco, though. It sneaks up on you. Argentina. Portugal. Belgium. Belgique. Viva La Mexico. Cy Why is Cyprus the 32nd most recognizable flag? It's ahead of Russia. Croa in Croatia, the who, who went with a cool design. Like, mad respect to Croatia for being like, yes. Saudi Arabia, to their credit, cool design. You throw a sword in there. Um, Iraq. Big fan of just random script on the thing. Czechia. Nepal. Nepal is out kicking its coverage. I mean, 38th most recognizable flag ahead of the Netherlands. I mean, seriously. Ukraine. All right, that's Kenya. Everybody loves Kenya because that shield is sick. Lebanon just has a tree. But, like, you know, do you, right? Do what makes you happy. That's Slovakia. That's Macedonia. Northern Macedonia. Sorry. Albania. Estonia. Yeah, you guys didn't know. Some of you maybe did. So, look, some of you maybe didn't know how I'm built. All right, how I'm built. That's Austria. That's Georgia. Now we're starting to get into the weeds, maybe just a little bit. That's Cuba. I grew up like 90 miles from that, so I should get it. North Korea. The holy land of the dear leader, Romania. Could be Chad, but I'm just going to go with it's not because it's like 53. All right, Vatican. Pakistan. Sri Lanka. Which, that's a cool flag, though. They understood the assignment. Chile, it's very cold there, I've heard. Slovenia, Presidents Luka Doncic these days. Uruguay, sweet. Latvia, oh, it's getting hot now. Vietnam, be terrible if I missed that. Sorry, Mac. Well, I didn't, though. Malaysia, I didn't miss it. <laughs> Qatar, be the correct pronunciation. Iran, uh, that's Egypt. Just went with a little gold eagle in the middle, I guess. Hungary. Not me right now. I had some sick ego waffles. Barbados. Big fan of the Trident vibe there. That's Caribbean nation. Bangladesh, which like they're killing it. Yo, Zlan, thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs, bro. I can't look at chat, though. I got to. This is all me. Serbia, Morocco. Thank you so much for making 20 people's days. Colombia. Thank you for giving them the ad free experience for supporting the stream with kindness, dude. I appreciate it. Panama. Trinidad in Tobago. I can't spell it. Damn. 20 gifted subs, dude. Venezuela. All right. We got Venezuela. We've got Malta. V perpetually forgotten European country. Bhutan. Sick flag. Algeria. Uh, Cambodia. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is like, I could have made that in like Photoshop. They just put like, um, but it's still cooler than just like a random tricolor flag. You know what I mean? They got some character. There's something going on. Belarus. There's something going on. That's Ivory Coast. It's like Ireland, but different. Fiji. Whoop. Syria. Angola. They have a machete on there, which I honestly didn't even notice until now. Again, looking at these blown up uh, flags. Bahrain. But how are you guys doing? I'm going to leave it there. I can't look at chat as long as I'm typing new stuff. Exit, thank you for the two months. Zlan, thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. You are awesome. Went on a 23-game winning streak with Liverpool. Was on the quadruple. Just needed to beat Benfica in the UCL final. I proceeded to get two reds in 15 minutes. Yeah, that happens, dude. That happens. Locus, thank you for the 21 months. Twang Noi, thank you for the 50 bits. Most chance to go through the knockout stage. Like... In Asian Cup, I still think Japan is the favorite, but 
I think that their loss to Iraq is going to give us a really good round of 16 match because they're not going to win their group anymore. And Jin, thank you so much for the two months. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. I'll probably I'll type it in now. Enjoy your ad-free experience. Make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. Thailand, at least they mixed up the way they do the colors, you know? Kosovo. Uh, Bulgaria. And tell me over 50% of people still get all these Seychelles. That's just so, like, that's what I'm talking about. Bring the heat. Libya. At least, I mean, black and a flag is cool. Monaco. But is that even real, man? Tunisia. Honduras or Guatemala. It's one of the two. Okay, it's Honduras. See, this is they need to really mix it up. So the fun thing, this, I'd never noticed this until it was pointed out to me. The star is cut off. I know it's, it's Bosnia and Herzegovina. The stars cut off at the ends. Like, all they needed to do was shift this up a little bit because they cut off on both ends. Like, if you just shifted it a little bit, you would just have a nice, perfect row of stars. If you have... A, I don't have OCD, so this doesn't bother me. But, like, if, you, if this is the sort of thing that bothers you, you will hate Bosnia and Herzegovina. For the rest of your days... They want it to be stackable, just perpetual flags. All right, I got it. I got it, Luxembourg. Ghana. Dude, how is Honduras like way up there ahead of all these? Ecuador, Liberia, Peru, Bahamas, the Baja Boys, Indonesia, behind Monaco, dude. Come on. You need a better flag. Even Afghanistan's got you worked there. Moldova. Oh, my goodness. It's Andorra. They both have the same color scheme with a big thing in the middle, and I don't know what it is in the middle. Swaziland, the actual country I'm named after. Also, East Swatini. Uganda. They've got, they've got like a rooster in it. Oh, yeah, dude. Montenegro. Borat, specifically. Cameroon. Be kind of embarrassing if I miss that. They are currently playing. San Marino. Hell yeah, dude! Liechtenstein. Hell yeah. Singapore. Zimbabwe. Love the number of colors. Okay, you're Moldova. You've got an eagle on you. We knew that all along. Dominican Republic. Sweet. Mongolia. Oh, we are. We're on. We're on it now. Somalia. Everything, everything will be all right. Everything, everything will be all right. Saint Lucia. My knowledge of the Caribbean is aided by growing up in the uh, in, in Florida. Kuwait. Cook, UAE. Always the one with the bar. Brunei, Durasalem, but I am assuming I don't have to type that. Paraguay. How is a South American country that low down? Armenia. Thank you for putting in some orange. You know, way to mix it up. No shot. I can spell the Philippines first try. Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, Papua New Guinea. The forgotten contender in the Guinean Derby sweepstakes. Jordan? Yeah, Botswana. Turkmenistan literally just put a rug on their freaking flag. Respect it. Lithuania. Wow, that's low down for a European country. Togo. Central African Republic. Haiti. 
Haters gonna Haiti. You know, you know what they say. Niger. Be careful, everybody. <laughs> careful. El Salvador. We still haven't hit Guatemala. That's because this is. Wait, hold on. Sal Did I spell it right? Yeah. Oh, they literally had to remove it from the name. I hate Central America. This is Guatemala. No, it's not. It's not. I knew it was. What am I? I'm missing one. There's El Salvador. There's Guatemala. Nicaragua. You slippery Nicaraguans. Micronesia. That's okay. You've got to be kidding me. That's El Salvador. You. F it's the same flag. That's Tonga. That's Guatemala. I should not have mixed that up with Honduras. That's Guatemala. That's Senegal. It's the same flag, dude. El Salvador and Nicaragua. Oman. Oh, man. I nearly missed that one. Taiwan. Respect, homies. Yemen. Team that just beat uh, India. Uzbekistan. Kiribati. This is what I'm talking about with you can just have, you just put whatever on the flag. Nobody nobody makes any rules. Ethiopia. I misspelled it. Dominica. Forgotten Caribbean nation of Dominica. Hey yo, what's up? My name's Chad. Azerbaijan. But I'm not gonna type it in. How are we doing so far? Arvbin, thank you so much for the Prime. Deathwalker, thank you for the Prime. Thank you for spending five dollars of Jeff Bezos' money. Saw dudes. I don't have enough time. Oh, you're right. Holy smokes, dude! I messed around too much. I gotta go. Zambia. I'm like taking a freaking a fiver. Antigua Barbuda. <sighs> Marshall Islands. Belize, Grenada, South Sudan, brand new one, baby, Maldives, Palau, it's like near Papua New Guinea, that's Palestine, that's Sudan, yeah, sorry. Boom! Not this time, dweebs. I'm on you. That was Lesotho, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines. Thank you for not making me. T okay, Palestine, and it's the same flag again. Sudan and Palestine are basically the same flag. Burundi. Guyana. Big triangle, guys. Kyrgyzstan, and we spelled it right. Oh, baby. We how how is Mozambique so low with the freaking AK dude? Cape Verde, Cabo Verde, Mauritania. Disrespect. This is a decent flag right here. Dece. Timor Lest. Tanzania. Again, decent flag. Samoa. Burkina Faso. Got their first Olympic medal recently. Comoros. Fun little island, Djibouti, Madagascar, Zealand, don't mess around. You only have two minutes and 38 seconds left. St. Kitts and Nevis. They make me type the whole thing. All right. Go Caribbean, Suriname, Benin, forgotten West African country, Mauritius, Malawi. Sierra Leone. Now we're into the last, the, the 18 least known flags. Nauru. Pacific Island one. Boliv How is Bolivia one of the 18 least known flags? That's so embarrassing for them. Myanmar. Two minutes left. DR Congo's on this list, really? Tajikistan. That makes sense. I'm surprised Kyrgyzstan wasn't. Screw you. Uh, Guinea. Molly, dang it. <laughs> it's the same flag upside down. I'm dyslexic. I'm not. Um, 
Oh, Vanuatu. All right, now we're we're working our way into the top 10. Eritrea. The 10 least known flags in the world. Rwanda. Sao Tome e Principe. Oh, no. It's e Principe. Oh, boy. Um, is it Guinea-Bissau? Am I wrong? Oh, dude, it's the spelling. I, I think it's the spelling. All right, we'll skip it. We'll come back to it. Uh, Congo. Really? I have a minute left, and you're going to make me type Republic of Congo? I have a minute left, Namibia. Uh, Gambia, don't make me type the Solomon Islands, sweet Guinea. All right, got it. Gabon, Equatorial Guinea. Goodness gracious. All right, I was wondering where that, that's Guinea Bissau. I'm right. I just can't spell it. Dang it. How do I spell it? Sal, tell me. And Principe. I realized I tried to type as I tried to type Espana earlier, and it was like, no, it has to be in English. <laughs> I was like, All right. Whether it's Y or E, it we're just gonna go with and. Whoa! Every flag in the world in ascending difficulty. How do U.S. states, bro? Can you imagine if I mess that up? Why? Come on. On every map ever, that is Sao Tome e Principe. It's just off the west coast of, like, Equatorial Guinea, of Af like, a, a middle of Africa. They have a super cool league. I want to go there to do a video. Their league is, like, they have a league on each island, and then the winner of each island plays in a giant cup. That's like their league. Oh. Graham Tracker, thank you for the four months, dude. Thanks for supporting the stream. That was fun, guys. That was fun. I'm glad that I can do that. Smashing American stereotypes one at a time, you know? Transfer recap before we start? Sure. My mic falls off. Don't blame me. Screws loose. All right. We have uh, we made a lot of sales, as you probably imagine. Uh, we have sold a lot of dudes. We sold, uh, excuse me, dropping into the football manager. We sold Mikhail Agil Ellardson. To West Ham for 17 million. Nico Jankovic to Estrella de Amadora for 10. Porta Nova to Al Khalij in Saudi Arabia. Felipe Sanchez to Club Bruges for 6.5. Ayman Mufek and Tice Dalinga sold for 5.5. Brian Kufre for 6 for 4.5. Gautier Larsonnier, our goalkeeper, for 4.4. Yvonne Massol for 3.8. Pablo Mari for 1.5. Marin Peel. Pyle for 500K, Benjamin Bashari, thank you for the 400K, uh, Christian Maladov for the 300K, and we uh, they released a couple of people as well. So we have 68 million in sales. We have spent 4 million in the transfer market. Um, so we have a little, we have a little money to spend, you know, just a little bit. Uh, we've purchased Nuno Lima for free. He is a center back that's going to step in and be an automatic, like, you know, plug and play, good player, competent, uh, well rounded. Uh, Luca Dean is coming in to play left back. He is, uh, he is here. 
Down to Clown, he's been purchased for like $1.1 million from the Premier League. Liam Scales, who's come in to back up left back and uh, left center back. Of course, St. Lullamilla Bad Boy has been purchased. He's already made his league de debut off the bench. Uh, and after his catastrophic Achilles injury last year, we've noticed his potential is still A+, plus, very high. He's unflappable. He has tremendous professionalism as well, and his development will follow the curve. Pedro Bravo for $1.8 million. Tremendous ball-winning midfielder. Signed up from uh, the uh, sporting that we bought him from. He's a very good player. Great size, great athleticism, great mentality to get after the ball. Um, we like him. We signed Kevin Mbabu as our backup right back. The Swiss international, very well-rounded, respectable type of player with a good competitive experience at a very high level. We spent a million dollars on Stefan Lakovic. Lekovic. He got sent off in our second match of the season, but he is a talented young center back from the Serbian League. And we brought in goalkeeper Claudio Ramos as our number one. And he's had a good first couple of games, so he's already getting worse, so that sucks. Calvin Ramsey. I have no idea how he ended up out of a contract, but we pounced immediately and added him to the team as our new right back. Mike Fay or Mikhail Fay, a center back who we were able to pick up for free after he left Barcelona's academy. Or he spent four years, actually. Alvaro Rodriguez, our striker, who we brought in on a free, 6'4", 182 pounds, Good size, good finishing from the Real Madrid Academy. Alaji Bamba, who is an academy player that I didn't even know he'd signed because I wasn't here when he signed. And Branko Vandenboomen, who's become the captain of the team and scored three goals in the first two matches for the club. He is our best player right now. He is the number 20, and he is a very, very good player who came from Ajax after he was there the last four years. Branko Vanden Boomen. So that is our transfer business so far. Dylan Badobinsika is leaving for six million to Sapporo because he is another player that's made it clear he doesn't want to be here. And as a result, we are pursuing talented winger Rarish Ilie, who joined the club for four point three million. We also have contract offers out for midfielder Dennis Kagan of Austria Vienne and Aral Shimshir, the Turkish winger. So we've got a couple of deals that we're looking, on, uh, we're looking at. We have very active scouting going on right now. Potential wonder kid and Claudio Machado that we're excited about. We'd be down to splash the cash for a, a young Argentine wonder kid winger, of course. Why would you like? Obviously, we'd be down to splash the cash for that. Man, we have a ton of money to spend. And we're going to have even more. we got $48 million in the transfer budget. Our balance is unbelievably okay. Uh, we, just have, we, we, we just have a ton of money that we're going to be able to throw down, and I'm really excited about that because we're going to be able to build like a really, really, really good team. Um, the offers are in for Morton Thorsby. We're working on scouting him. I mean, we have the money. There's no reason for me to not see. Like if, if our scouts say that he's good enough, there's no reason for us to not just throw an offer out. Fine, dude. I'll give you the 2.8, man. Chill. I know he's a 31-year-old midfielder, but I want to explore all of the possible opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Daryl Linehan wants way too much money, so we are not interested in that. All these guys are kind of uh, being scouted. You know, we're looking around, trying to identify people that are going to make the team better. Can't believe Tabella Maseko is their peak recommendation. If 
But we have, yeah, we have a boatload of money to spend, so let's spend it. Did I set Boom to take pens? Uh, no, I actually need to do that right now. Because he has not been, he's not set as a penalty taker in the tactic. I like to just leave it open, and then the best person is going to take the pen. Uh, Thorsby's got more interest in a couple of the teams that are already offered him. It looks like Celta Vigo. Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to, we're going to not, we're going to not even contend for his signature. I'm not wasting my time. I, I don't know. I haven't gotten an answer yet. The $10 million that we didn't receive in our transfer budget, I haven't gotten an answer yet. Uh, we actually don't know. So hopefully um, it won't matter because we'll get all of our deals done cheap enough. But there was $10 million that was supposed to go into our transfer budget that just didn't from one of the transfers we did. It went into the balance. The transfer is complete and everything. Um, Evan Gesson. Ah, uh, yes, Martin Pechar, but he hates big matches, which is why we don't like him. Otherwise, I would love that kid. He's, he's freaking good. Here you go, Bolin. and Mati Kamara. I need better players on my team. I mean, I, do, do I need them? Probably not. We've been able to build up a fairly decent table. We're not super deep. And we could use a few more stars like Branko Vandenboom and a few more star players. So I'm not out here trying to buy guys that aren't star level ballers. This is this is nice. I want a good agent recommendation right here. I want an agent recommendation that's very good that comes through at this particular moment when I need it. Kenner Valencia, I'm already on him. He already got recommended to me. Don't I don't act like he's news. Doesn't look like we're getting any good recommendations right now. Not this time around. I suppose it was on the loan list. They're desperate to get rid of Gisson. There's no real wrong. No, no nothing wrong with him. See a bonga Malinga. He's okay. He needs a move or else he's not going to develop. They're not playing him enough at all. Wow, this is... Uh, you guys ever play the NHL video games? How many are you from a country that watches hockey? <laughs> this is from uh, the... This reminds me of the old NHL video games. Bodrillards, thank you for the two years, dude! On the tier two, my guy. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. Chrissy, thank you for the two months. Lou Black, thank you so much for the four months. I appreciate you guys. I'm from Germany, and I love the NHL. Nice. Patrick Fluke. There we go. We got a million-dollar offer for our old winger that we don't like. Patrick Fluke. He doesn't want to be here. And if you don't want to be here, that's the most important thing to me. If you don't want to be here, I don't want you here. Errol Shimshir, he wants to be here. He wants to be a part of the project. I'm delaying his signing because I'm not sure that we want him. The song, this song slaps. This song is, it goes hard. Take me out. Oh, they're willing to discuss the offer for, uh, come on. I'll give you 4.6 million up front. I'm not dancing around with all this other nonsense. You know, 4.6 million up front for Rara Chilier. I like Rara Chilier a lot. Let's get him in my freaking team. I like him. I have a crush on this guy. There we go. He's more interested in playing at Pauk. Why? Why are you more interested in playing at Pauk, dude? Don't be mad. Oh, okay, cool. Rarish Ilie. Did, 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 did I know I... Oh, there we go. Rarish Ilie, a talented young... Ooh, Caputo hands in a transfer request.
I'm so mad this guy doesn't. Can you work on your uh, your Italian passport? If you have a great grandparent that was that had an Italian passport, you can get an Italian passport. Your last name is Caputo. Do some investigating. Do some investigating. <laughs> Yeah, take me out. Do I want to spend a million dollars to get Caputo as one of my foreign players? He's very good. He doesn't have the engine I enjoy at attacking midfield. I mean, he's a real slick, uh, smart player with good ball control and excellent quick change of direction to create separation. And play out on the wing as well. Fits into the same role that Ilya is kind of fitting into. Has good adaptability, so we don't have to worry about him being able to come over. I did, I, yeah, I've got, I'm just keeping tabs on him. I'm like, this kid is good. Get the Argentinian guy instead? True. We'll wait. We wait. Hold the line. That's a deadline day sort of move. It's not a move that we make right now. We don't know who's around the corner. We don't know who's going to come from our scouting reports and be like, oh, yes, this guy's awesome. Mamadou Koulibaly's back. Mateo Kafar. Well, look, Mateo, you're the one that's kicked up this whole fuss about you want to leave. I'm not the one that kicked up this whole fuss. You're the one that was like, yeah, I, I want to I wanna leave. Somebody offered me a deal, and I think it's better than being here, so I want to I wanna leave. Well, that's fine. I will replace you in this team, Mateo. Don't try me, bro. See, this guy, Dylan Badabinsika, was like, yeah, I want to leave. And I'm like, fine. I'll find myself another center back, Dylan. Six million to Sapporo, you get to go play in, uh, where, where, where are you going? The J league? I mean, honestly, that sounds like a fun time. Enjoy the food. Bada Ben Seek is headed to the J league for 6 million. And we have even more money. It's unbelievable. Iran scored. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, Hong, it was all look. Hong Kong was always going to be playing uphill in this game. Hong Kong hasn't been in an Asian Cup in 58 years. They're just lacking that top-end talent. It was always going to be tough. Franco Trionski has been put on the transfer list. Doesn't really do it for me. Augustine Alvarez. Doesn't really do it for me. I appreciate you bringing that to my attention because I am scouring those lists. There's 156,000 players that would be interested in a transfer, including 29-year-old Norwegian Sander Berg. Now that would be a wild tran... Oh, they got relegated. Did he have a clause? We have no idea. But Genoa got relegated, and Sander Berg's like, bro, I will move. Well, Sander Berg's definitely way too good to be hanging out on my team. I think we can agree on that. Sender Berga. Okay. We're going to prioritize that. Get you up there. Julian Lopez, get you up there. We need to need to hustle it up on these scout reports. And uh, my goodness, if we could learn one thing about Claudio Machado, please, that'd be outstanding. 
No way there's a Kenner Valencia. Oh, there absolutely is a uh, Kenner Valencia. Oh, Mads Frokiar. Another one of our free options that's gone by the wayside. Renat Dadashov is signed in the top league. He held out and it paid off. Credit to him. Scouting reports takes more. They take more time for some reason this year. Yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting for like <laughs> a report that I requested on that Egyptian guy a long time ago. But that's okay. They're unhappy with the low level of team training they're getting. Really? The low level of general team training. Very weird complain when the game itself is the one that's setting up the training. I haven't brought my training regimes over. Fascinating. Did we sign Bungani Kumalo yet? Uh, no, but we did manage to somehow finish the scouting report on the other guy that was on uh, the team before Bungani Kumalo. Well, that is not the amount of money that we were asking for for uh, Matteo Cafaro, so no. Offer him out for $7 million, the 30-year-old wing who is getting paid a lot of money, but he's a decent player. He, he just got unsettled by a transfer offer, and I don't want anybody that's unhappy at the club. We all need, you know, we're coming out of that relegation. I took over a massive club that had just gotten relegated. We got to get everybody pulling in the right direction so that we can kind of get back to it, you know? We got to get back into league all next season. Minimum expectation is to win the league here at St. At the end, so winning kind of important. Oh, they were on half intensity? Oh, my goodness, I didn't set the intensities. Why were they on half intensity? So was it was upset? Oh, yeah, like, dude, it should always be automatic. Everybody should be on auto. Who's that? Oh, Dean. Well, he's old. Should always be on automatic, brother. Nice eye, by the way. Way to see that, dude. I would have just glazed right over that. I was just like, oh, yeah, easy. No, you can't actually do that, I don't think, in rest because automatic is when it defers to rest, but you can also set it specifically for the player. But I don't think you can do that in uh, in rest. Yeah, I, he hates big matches. I, I like a lot about that guy, but he hates big matches. So like, if you go to rest, you set like what the automatic is going to be. Oh, but you're saying like on this thing. Okay, so like on this thing, you can come down here and be like, ah, I'm going to set, you know, like, let me try it here. Like, there's two. I'm going to highlight both of them. They're kind of behind my head. That worked. Okay. So if you highlight multiple on this screen, then you can set it to automatic. Nice. All right, Lekovic, you got sent off. You dweeb. I'm going to get Liam out there as we continue to build a scarily... Empty team. I'm going to get Koulibaly there. Fluke is coming out. I'm not going to have anybody that can play left wing uh, because Fluke is leaving the game. Uh, Comier is here. We do have Scales in Mbabu. But I like it, Comier. Still didn't fix Diallo. That did. 
Oh yeah, because I fixed it in the rest the rest screen. So that was before I fixed it in the rest screen. Sorry, that was unfair to you. All right, so it's Ramos, Ramsey, Lima, Fi, Dean, Bravo, Vanden Bowman, Fcon. Oh, uh, Lala Mello. You don't get in my team. You don't get in my team if you don't want to be here. And Kafro, uh, that's that's stupid. But I am going to start bad boy. I'm starting bad boy in Rodier. Kafro will be on the bench. Because he's not actually under a transfer bid. Once you're under a transfer bid, I really don't want to have you on the field anymore. All right, do not type Mark Ferrari. I've heard he's fast. I'm assuming we're going to sign another good center back, so I'm just not going to make Lima the number three, not yet. Are the favorites here, I want us to play like it. Nuno, I have faith in you. I'm already getting, uh, already getting a bit of a, a rapport with the lads. Fast but poor decision making. Ah, did I see the Shelton Manorino match, the Australian Open? No, I've struggled to keep up with it. I did see Andrieva's comeback last night, though. That was sick. Uh, I was Shelton Manorino like super long. I imagine that Manorino would be the perfect type of person to frustrate Shelton. I hope Shelton won, though. Nice. All right, the boys in green, Saint Etienne, with two teenage wingers out there. This is a wide field, dude. Wow, Nimes Olympic. You need all this space? All right, the Rodier. Okay, Lalamella bad boy. Ramsey. Vanden Bowman. There's an obvious ball out to the wing here that we're not we're not seeing. Uh, that's okay. Rodier. Oof. Oh, great ball back in. It's very simple. If you tell me you don't want to be here, I will remove you from the team and replace you with somebody better. Fcon is like kind of the only guy that hasn't done that so far. Vanden Bowman. Okay. The pitch is actually a square. Yes. It's very short and fat. Keep it moving. Keep it. Oh, oh, oh classy. Fcon. Nice turn. I love the turn to cut through the press. We always we always love that. We like how weirdly measured we're being. Oh, yes. Let's go, Fcon. Nice. Have it. So, yeah, it was well worked. We're playing the right stuff right now. We win a trophy every single year we've been coaching, and we want to do that again this year. Help me along that path. Uh-oh. Yeah, dude, this is how far I have to zoom out to be able to see the side of the field. It just makes it... The, the, the home advantage for them is that I am disoriented trying to watch the match. Nice work by Ramsey there. Baits him into it. Bad boy. Alvaro Rodriguez. Lalamella. He's got the overlap coming. Turns it down. Vanden Bauman. Okay. Spot FM24 on the new MacBook Pro. The gosh darn notch. 
is irritating me. I the notch. Yeah, how much time does it take to finish the Continental A license? A year. And then it'll take a year to finish the Continental Pro. So in May, I'll be done with my Continental A. Oh, my God, a bad boy! Uh. Oh. Oh! I thought that was going in. I can't even tell from this angle if he saved it or not. We're all over them, though. The shape of the pitch has not disoriented us. They did, however, lose Andres Ferrari. So they now brought in a new guy to do that role. So we got to make sure that we keep our defensive discipline. Oh, Rodier. Why? You came from so far away. How much was Bad Boy? Like 190K? Like 190,000. Uh, we have two wingers that aren't actively leaving the club right now. There's no way, bro. Thirty minutes of utter dominance. And we give away a penalty on a set piece. All right, Claudio Ramos. This is your time. Da. Ah. Oh, his first ever goal for the club. Oh, I'm so happy for him. Wow, that is great, dude. That is great news. I can't. Oh, wow. I'm going to send him some flowers after the game. Tremendous. Oh, it's Alvaro Rodriguez! Cookies! Some highway robbery by Alvaro Rodriguez! He's caught the goalkeeper with his pants down! And the Real Madrid Youth Academy man with the easiest goal of his career to date! Alvaro Rodriguez! We'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh, let's get it. Let's get it now. Back in front. Say Tetien right back to the top. Oh, the volley. Wow. That was a bad mistake by them. First start in Europe for bad boys on a 6.4 right now. This used to be a Robert Soldrikis stream. Look, those streams will always live forever. We have the Zealand Streams channel. There's the Zealand Live channel if you want to relive it in a more pocket-sized sense. You know, the edited down streams. It's part of the point of those channels is if you, if you ever had a, a favorite era, a favorite play, you can always go watch and play. You can always go relive those moments. They're always there. Dean. It's Dean. It's Alvaro. Oh, shoot. All righty. That'll be my ball. Thank you very much. Lelamilla bad boy on the move. Okay, here we go. Lelamilla bad boy. Lelamilla holy. Nope. Oh, it's in! Oh. Alvaro Rodriguez is at it again. Headed back in by Bravo. Glanced in by Rodriguez. The new target man getting it done for St. Etienne. Oh, guess who? Oh, nice pass. Bravo.
Great response after their penalty, though. We got right back on top of the game. Rodriguez obviously had the takeaway. And now he's winning everything. But a good response trying to steer ourselves top of the league in the uh, French second division as we build our reputation. Vandenbaumen. Ramsey. Oh, Rodier! Nice ball by Ramsey. Nice ball by Ramsey. I'm going to bring in Scales. Let Nuno Lima keep figuring it out. But Scales has been questionable. Mamadou Koulibaly, we also want to have him play, but not oh, now. Vanden Bauman's going to go forward. Mamadou is... Yeah, he's competent. Okay. Mamadou Koulibaly will be the regista. Bronco Vanden Bauman's going to be the attacking midfielder. Justice, thank you for the prime. Thank you for supporting the stream. I appreciate you using $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. Enjoy the bacon, the emotes. Make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord, my dude. All right, I'm having, a, having an okay time here. In, uh, vivin I'm, I'm vivin' it up in La France right now. Bravo. Oh, he, oh, oh. Okay, Ramsey, Ram Ramsey. Faux real, thank you for the 14 months, dude. Got to give it a sub, but I wasn't here. Thank you. Ah, yes. You can see the notifications who gave it to you. Uh, you can have Dean on in swingers from the right corner. True. I need to go in and untick um, Vanden Bowman being the all-time taker now. Because we do have somebody else that can deliver a quality pass. A quality ball. Oh, wow. He just totally freaked him out. Nice play, Lima. Vanden Bowman. Hunting his goal out there. Out of curiosity, when's the next Carl save stream? Monday, I think. Yeah, Monday. We're going to be playing with Carl again. Oh, nice composure from Bravo. If you guys missed that, we are teaching Carl Jacobs how to play football manager. And we had a lot of fun. He had a lot of fun in the first first stream. We're playing with Catania in, uh, in Italy. And we are trying to get them up to Syria. We're trying to take Catania to Syria. All right, Ramsey. Koulibaly. Oi! Good save. When will the call stream be up as videos? I uh, soon. <laughs> We're still working on that stuff. Ramsey. Oi! Yay, yay, guys. Get a touch. Yeah, bad boy does look, he looks comfortable and competitive, but I mean, with his mentality and his athleticism, you feel like he could hang anywhere. He's like, he's at least going to be able to do a job. Bravo. Oh, bad boy found the right channel. Found the right channel. Ramsey taking it out wide. Ooh. Ooh. Look out. Bravo. Bad boy. Why is the match so long? Because we're uh, apparently on full match all of a sudden. No, we're not. We're on extended highlights. I don't know why it said we were on full match. Well, I think it's because you go into tactics. It's like you're on full match or something. Let me test that. Yeah, it's wild. All right, so. Hey, man. Iran. Oh, 
I'm going to go with a B. It was good. Merson, it was good. Thank you for the 13 months. And we're starting to turn it on. Once we get the once we get the real stars into this team, we already have the engine, right? We've got a great midfield. Really great midfield. Really good fullbacks. A lot of talent. Technical ability at the fullback positions. We don't really have wings that can cut in right now. Lelamella Bad Boy and uh, Rodier. They're both just, you know, wingers that you want on attack. Just to, Oh my goodness, Vanden Bowman. Vanden Bowman. Bravo. Koulibaly. Ramsey. Up for Alvaro Rodriguez. Looking for the hat trick. Big Alvaro. Oh, nice, Koulibaly. Well, this was a complete performance. We gave up the penalty on a set piece, but other than that, complete dominance. We don't even have our team together yet. And we're already, we're already taking care of business. Three wins from three in my tenure at St. Etienne. Our new job, our new opportunity to manage and win trophies, and it's us and Mets at the top of the league. Ah, Paris FC. It's your friends that helped relegate us last year. Nice, Alvaro Rodriguez. I love when guys like that from uh, like Real Madrid's reserve team get the opportunity to play first team ball, and you're like, wait, they're actually quite good. Alvaro, Rod Alvaro Rodriguez is living that life. I found my first obscure nation wonder kid. He's from Liechtenstein. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, we're waiting on Ilya. Errol Shimshir, I'm going to ask for your confirmation, dude. We just don't have enough wingers on the team. I want, I'll sign you right now. Errol Shimshir. We, we need wings. I, I literally, like with the guy that we're going to have to get rid of, Kafaro, um, I only have two wings on the entire team. We need guys that can take the ball on the outside and make a play. So, Errol Shimshir is in. Welcome to the team, homie. It's a beautiful day. All right, welcome him. We're good. Oh, sweet. We got the $7 million offer for Matteo Cafaro. We continue to turn absolute stonks. Everybody that wants to leave, dude. Everybody that wants to leave, they're out. Oh, Nestori, you're in Kunda. Yeah. I've, I'm, they're having this issue where I'm like not getting all of the people that we've scouted come up. Unless you're in Kunda is still here. He hasn't come up for me. Like, we scouted Aaron Kunda, and watch, we're going to have, like, knowledge of him if it's done. But it didn't come up in our thing. Well, he's playing for Tanzania over Australia, that's wild. Might be one of those Gio Reyna things. The story of Aaron Kunda is a load of fun. He is an awesome player. Saying, uh, yeah, but I'm just not getting in. But this is like really catastrophically annoying. But I'm just like not getting inbox messages when players are done scouting, and who knows what we may have missed out on. Um, remember to change corners. Thank you. We will do that. Attacking corner taker. We want to unset this because we have Luca Dean and Bronco Vandenboomen that can take really good corners. Okay, so. Aaron Kunda definitely on the short list. I don't think he's an immediate guy where we're like, yes, we need to do that right now. But he's close. And now we've got, I, I keep checking this, like something's going to change. But Claudio Michel, oh, oh. 
He's just lacking a little bit of a, a few brain cells. He's just lacking a few brain cells. If he had, if if he had a few more brain cells, just like enough to rub them together and start a fire, you know, I feel like we'd be on to something. Lalamella Bad Boy and Maxime Rodier, the bright future on the wing. Thanks for the help of the save. I followed your advice to back of the top six now after a big win streak. Let's go, Athmos. Let's go. Hell yeah. Oh, we did get Dennis Kagan. Another guy we can pick up for free. What's his playing time expectation? Fringe player. I see no reason to, to avoid bringing Dennis Kagan in. A free acquisition as we continue to build a very financially healthy club with all of our sales and signing free players that are just going to make our team better. Dennis Kagan is in. Lawrence the Machine are underrated. I mean, I feel like they just haven't done anything in a long time, you know? I feel like Florence the Machine have not really done anything recently. Hey, can you play left wing? You just learn how to play left wing a little bit. Sweet. Our old Sims here and Dennis Kagan. Welcome to the teams. There's Erin Kunda. Oh, we're getting our updates on this story, Erin Kunda. Now. Saavedra. Oh, he's, is he getting old? I mean, I guess a little. It's not bad. David Okariki, I'm still working on it. Still working on him, too. Aware of him, Ezekiel Ceballos, still working on him. Yep, scouts are moving a little slow, but they have managed to finish Sander Berga, who is a baller. I mean, we already knew Sander Berga was a baller. Uh, the lack of adaptability is a bit of a concern for me. Very well-rounded player. Do I want to spend six to eight million to bring him in? Kagan will be gone in a year. I mean, if we get promoted, yeah. And I would assume promotion is what we're going for, but we're also building a team that's going to be able to get through this season very comfortably. He was uh, He's more of a fringe signing, obviously. But he's also entirely free and quality. You have a ton of money. It's a trap a lot of people fall into in football managers. We have a ton of money, and I want to spend it. But I don't want to spend it on people that don't make my team significantly better. I don't think Sander Berga starts in my team right now. You know what I mean? Like I don't think Sander Berga actually starts in my team. All right, Shimshir goes into the lineup over Lelam and the Bad Boy. Bad Boy, see, he does better off the bench anyways. He's such an impact player off the bench. Sign an expensive winger. We're already splashing on Rara Chilier, who is a very, very good uh, like attacking midfielder winger combo. I'd love a souped up pace merchant on the wing. I would. I would love a souped up pace merchant on the wing, but I don't know if we've uh we've got one of those. 
Splashing it's like four million. Absolute nothing. Just just nothing relative to what we what we've had. Maseko is available, yeah, but he hates big matches at our level, like really hates him. You know what I'm saying? They finally finished working on Kenner Valencia. I'm just like, there's got to be somebody with a standout attribute. Musa Jinipo. Not even Musa Jinipo's there. Musa Jinnipa is actually just not really a standout guy at all. I, you need to have some serious athleticism to be at that level. And Ah, oh, dude, Finn Stevens. I had that guy with Taunton. Lord Bob, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the 11 months. You were almost at the Golden Bacon, I believe. I appreciate you. Center back a concern? I mean, I'd love a star center back. I mean, we've got one of our focuses is uh, Cuesta. He might be a guy that steps in as a an even better center back. 14 jumping reach at 5'10 is fun. But he's, nine, you know, 19 and a half million, which obviously we can float, but that just feels utter, like, excessive. Ahmed Abdul Kader is 4.1 million, but his adaptability is absolutely atrocious, and we're looking for kind of somebody that comes in and in one year is able to be a, a really impressive presence. Song Min Q would be one of the foreign player spots or one of the non, uh, non EU spots. Yeah, Abdul Kader is also non EU, which is a very good point. Jean Nicholas Besta would be a left wing with super work rate. All right. We got a lot of guys that were sizing up, but you know, and you look at like center backs, all the center backs that we know that would be interested in a transfer move right now. I don't like Demir Bug. Like I, I know that he looks good, but I do not like him. Adam Obert. Come on, make some progress. Bob, thank you for the two months, dude. I appreciate the prime. Uh, uh, Patrick Fluka. Yeah, you made it clear that you wanted to leave and you didn't want to be a part of the project. You're headed to Cremonese. I hope you have a terrible time there. That's nah, fine. You really weren't going to be a part of this team um, either way. You know who they probably forgot to notify me that we were done scouting is uh, Bangani Kumalo, which they definitely forgot to notify me we were done scouting Kumalo. What a good player Bangani Kumalo is, by the way. Uh, he's extremely keen on a move. So we're going to bring two guys from the uh, Orlando Pirates. Going to keep each other company. We're going to go get Bangani Kumalo. They did forget to know. Like, or, you know the game's just messing up, and we didn't get the notification in our inbox that we'd finished the uh, scouting report. That's just $39,000 on top of the 400000 for Kumalo. So they also finished scouting Badili and Tula. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, I finished a bunch of scouting reports, I'm sure, on players that I would be like, pretty interested in i just um they didn't tell me i didn't get the notification but there's bangani kumalo 
smile like you mean it. Goalkeeper is a spot where you can improve. Jesus Sawonu. And the disciples, you get all of them. You didn't tick the the requested reports on the first settings screen. I saw it on the but what the f Yeah, it wasn't bad, Meat Shield. That's on the B level. I'm going to go B minus. Thank you for the nine months. Congrats on your Twitch child. And Will May, thank you for the two months. Do a save with South End, 14 players in embargo. I mean, when you sell it to me like that. Of course, Bournemouth arrives. In the nick of time with a giant offer. Hey, you won't be a regular starter at Bournemouth, will you? No, I've got to go squad, but I'll go important player next year. And I will match, you know, I will give you the amount of money that you are hoping to get here. I'll give you a 10% yearly salary raise, a top division promotion salary raise. I'm going to blow your monetary expectations out of the water, Bungani. Daryl Linehan is actually going to get that move. That's ridiculous. All right, so somebody help me because clearly I'm missing a setting. So somebody said it's the setting re uh, re requested reports, right? Requested reports, finished scouting player. I have it forwarding to inbox, all right? The only one I don't want is started scouting a player, but I don't see, like everybody said, requested reports. I don't see where that would be messed up. So the first screen. Stop scouting a player when they transfer to another club. Um, request of reports. It says it's a mixed delivery. The reason it says that, chat, is because if I click forward to inbox and then I go to advanced, it forwards all this to the inbox. If I get rid of started scouting player, right? If I get rid of started scouting player and hit OK, then it's... And it's delayed, but it'll go back to being like mixed delivery. You know what I mean? So like highly recommended players is not mixed delivery. It's all straight to inbox. All the other stuff, uh, the one that's on mixed delivery is agent recommendations because I have it on two different delivery methods. So that's not the issue. Garfield, thank you for the five months. Although like sharp eye, sharp eye seeing that, but it's not the, it's not the problem. It's not minimum grade. We have it at the lowest possible. No, nope, it's just borked. It's borked. It don't work right now. I think we gave him enough money, lads. I think Bagani Kumalo is like, dude, 900000 a year. Important player in the future. I, uh, I think so. He's totally worth it, too. Dude gets right into our center back rotation. 
took him an hour to decide he wanted to come play for his former manager at St. Etienne instead of going to Bournemouth to just rot in the depths of the Premier League. It's an excellent pickup with Bungani Kumalo. He's going to grow into a very, very good player. Um, wow. Wow. You went to Pauk for half the transfer. Dude, they are... For less money, they accepted half the transfer fee to send him to Pauk. The, I try to splash just a teeny bit of money. And somehow we still can't even do that, dude. I have I we have fifty six million in the balance, a transfer budget of fifty four million. I can't find somebody I want to splash money on. I can't. It's impossible. They don't exist. Players that I want to splash money on, they're not real. Oh, that was the guy. That was the guy we wanted to splash money on. Ivan Alves, nobody in their wildest dreams would think Ivan Alves is worth 50 to 70 million. I'm not going to take away the entire spending power of our club just to get the guy in. I, I, he's a great player, and I, if he was worth 10 million, then I would get him. Oh, Francisco Sierra Alta is getting offers. About time. Uh, pay less? Yeah, dude. I'm on that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pay less. Even though they won't accept it. Splash the money on King Kazu. You're on the right track there. That's a good thought. I could use some 55-year-old experience in my team. So he did not sign a new contract, so we could actually go Grigori Veselinko. He's okay with that. He's okay being a French player right now. Go ahead and give him 215. This isn't like a relevant... Thing. This is just us picking up a kid from the Russian league that's like a wonder kid. Pay a little compensation. And regard I, I, I set that shortlist thing as a reminder because he's available for a 90000 compensation and a small sell-on fee. But he clearly has a bright future. I don't even know if he'll stick around at the team. But he clearly has a bright future, so we're going to go pull him up. High volume of quickness training. Well, Kafaro, you're on the move. You accepted your trans. Why do you keep getting hurt? You just got back from your last injury, man. Corners? I actually already fixed it. Uh, we have Luca Dean and Vanden Bowman taking from opposite sides so that Bravo and Alvaro Rodriguez can, can continue to terrorize the league. When I show my scouting focuses, uh, we have an all, we have a dudes, which is good guys. We have uh, somebody looking for freeze. We also have somebody, you know, looking for that, which is not going well. I think Jorginho Reuter is a five... Uh, well, that's crazy. So Sato would have been, but he moved immediately after he was thrown on this list. Bubakar Traore, didn't we try to... Yep, we tried to sign that guy, but he chose Alvaro, uh, Alves over us. Shadari Juke. Do I finish these scouting reports and I get no email? This is going to drive me nuts. Like, I honestly had never thought about how crucial that is to the game until right now. 
where like I'm sitting here and I'm like, dude, I'm finishing scouting reports and they just don't tell me. Like on Conrad De La Fuente. And I'm like, okay, well, we could have just gone after Conrad De La Fuente. Like all these guys that I'm remembering, we slapped the scout on. Cristo Solis. No, dude, it might. Maybe this, all the signing of the staff. Maybe. No, it's not, though. Not with you, Barrios. Thank you for the 15 months, dude. Thank you for the tier two as well. Oh, 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 that. Saying I got a scouting report for that guy, but I missed it. That is possible, but the volume of players is uh so Ajuke. You're saying I missed an Ajuke. No, I didn't. I never got an inbox message. Or uh Ajuke. The do, 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 do. I'm going to get this guy out, too. He'd prefer to stay here, but I don't think he's good enough to stay here. I'm just going to go ahead and move him. As somebody that loves giving tutorials, I respect the urge. I always respect the urge to like, to be like, yeah, you, you just got to go here, dude. I don't know why you, but I promise you the areas you're thinking we need to go to, we've already been there. Wait, Polivier Pinchom scored, dude. Yes. The, the, the cynic, oh, oh, yes. The Cameroon comeback is on. Olivier and Chom assisted. Ah, he assisted. So Cameroon's trying to sneak back up and grab a point. Senegal up 2-1 over Cameroon with a couple of minutes to go. Hong Kong's keeping it tight. It's only 1-0 Iran over Hong Kong. If Hong Kong can snake a draw, where does that leave them? Actually leaves them level with Palestine going into the final match. And they would have a better goal difference. Which means Hong Kong would actually be ahead of Palestine in the group going into the final match day after a draw with Iran. So huge moments for Hong Kong if they can find a way to score a goal in that match. Surviving against Iran right now. Taylor, thank you for the prime. Probably not going to matter though because even though Hong Kong would be ahead of them, it really is going to come down to... A draw against Iran, and then if they beat Palestine, they would secure their spot in the next round. Um, but if they, even if they lose to Iran and then they beat Palestine, they're probably in the next round. So, yes, we already watched the Bebe free kick. It was amazing. We're just trying to feel like it's just frustrating. Like I want to get my inbox messages. Like I, I would want I want to get my inbox messages. You know what I mean? Like I, I I really want to get my inbox messages for scouting. Like they're the I like the the most important inbox messages that I get. The literally the most important one. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try and break it. Hold on. I'm not gonna not try and break it, but Send it to the scouting center. When you finish scouting a player, send it to the scouting center instead. Don't send it to my inbox because you're not sending it to my inbox anyways. 
So if they send it to the scouting center, then I'll see it, hopefully. Right? Or wait, is there a reset button? Let's reset. Well, that doesn't work. It didn't change anything, and I doubt that this is the exact way that it's set up initially, so. Yeah, let's hope this works. Let's send it to the scouting center, because then at least we'll see it. We can just check the scouting center every couple days and be like, oh, yeah, you know? Like, that's not a bad thought. Like, if, if that doesn't work, oh, yo. But we already have a left back. Chris, oh, but he's 33, too, so it's not, he'd be aging terribly, too. But, you know, we'll end a contract maybe the end of next year. Or who knows what club we'll be at, you know? Jan Nicholas Beste. Uh, a left winger with brilliant corner taking, you know, explosiveness, work rate. A relegation release clause for a measly fifteen and a half million. I don't know if this guy uh, improves our team enough for me to want him. The, with the dribble, he, he doesn't have great technical ability, right? Real hard running lad. I'm interested. I'm very, very interested. Jordan Barrera. I'm incredibly interested. Like I'm going to immediately prioritize that. I'm going to prioritize that immediately. Wait a second. Hold on. Two weeks. Yeah, when I scout a player, it's for two weeks. Not two matches, two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Two weeks. I'm just checking. Ismail Ibrahimli. Okay. Already scouting him. Already scouting Musa Genepo. Benedettini. Cool. Victor Rice. Well, I mean, we we should sign him though, because if we if we do, and then the team's not working, we can just put them in in rice. Let's tell them to put their faith in rice. Now, we haven't finished scouting the young Argentine. Tony Moya, very well-rounded midfielder. Um, what playing time would he expect? Oh, he's no longer interested. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry I cared. All right, I'm sorry that I cared enough to ask. Adrian Kapralik. Uh, you were very fast, my man. You were very, very fast, dude. Shadera Izuke would be... I, I don't know if he's a huge improvement, but he is a good athlete with good dribbling. He can take people on. Asking price is low. We'd have to give it... I mean, we... Uh, I didn't sign that freaking Romanian who I wanted a lot. I think patience is key here. I need to not just, like, go buy the first guy that I can. Oscar Perea, okay, what, you're in 29 million, but all of a sudden, I, you know I have so much money, you know I can afford that. That's smart agent work. That's smart agent work. Julian Lopez, okay, he's been recommended. We finished scouting him. He is a very good player. Please have, like, Spanish... He's very good. Julian Lopez, a very good player. Uh, David Okariki is an okay player. He's not a very good player. He's okay. So we have some new recruitment focuses I'd like us to focus on. Uh, Oscar Perea would be one of them. Um, Jordan Barrera is another one, the guy from D.C. United that definitely, he's got a lot going on. Luke Kundal. Yeah, it's, uh, that's it. 
Why are we scouting these guys for two matches also? Like that nowhere in my scouting thing does it say we're scouting them for two matches. We'll get this figured out. It's being a little weird. It's being a little weird. Lekovic keeps getting loan offers. I keep saying no. Louis LaRue. Oh, I love that. Just the name. Uh, Louis LaRue. That, that's a banger. Uh, they're going to say no to this so fast. Oh, Penitonikos wants David Okariki. Okay. Sick. Saduk Benamora is eligible for a professional contract. Well, I will go ahead and hand you that professional contract, my pad one, because you have at least decent potential. You deserve a professional contract. I know I got here a month ago, but you deserve it. Try the five-star potential winger from Nach Breda. No, I, I mean, he won't be good enough to be in my team right now. And that's really what we're looking at. Now we would love to sign young guys that could be in my team right now, but he won't, that guy won't be good enough to be in my team right now. I really hate the seven man bench. I feel super limited by the seven man bench. So who's interested in this guy? Oh, New York Red Bulls from MLS. Well, let's try Brion Son for 500,000. And then you're going to be like, yay, MLS time. All right, Bengani Kamalo, welcome to the team, brother. You are registered. You are ready. You are here. The problem is we don't have enough of a bench to be able to accommodate that. Actually, we do. Um, let me get a bit more specific here. A Comier for scales, and then now we're okay. Now we're okay. All right, I want to see a little more from Luca Dean today, and Errol Shimshir is into the starting lineup as our right wing, which is a bit new. But we do have our set pieces arranged the right way. We've got Taker on both sides within swingers. Reasonable enough. Um, okay. We've won our first three matches. We're going to try and continue that. Bengani Kumalo wants two. He gets 22. You want a good number, Errol Shimshir. You're getting 14. Easy. Senegal's up 3-1. Oh, they've iced it. Senegal has iced it. They've scored. They've got six points. They are going to very likely win the group unless Guinea beats Gambia. Then that final match day uh, will leave some question to it. But Senegal has beaten Cameroon after beating the Gambia. Guinea and the Gambia will be I mean it's important for both those teams. The Gambia wins it all of a sudden they're in the driver's seat and that group gets really interesting for Cameroon. If Guinea wins it then Cameroon needs to show up and beat the Gambia or else they're in trouble. We're the favorites lads. Let's go out there and dominate today for those St. Etienne fans. Yeah, I mean, lower league England, you got five subs too, but the whole, like, I, this is the first time in this save we've had only seven. And this is also FM 24, where you need to have a goalkeeper on the bench. And so it's a real Debbie Downer. Nice, Fi. Rodier. Errol Simsier. Bravo. Vanden Bowman. Fcon. 
Alvaro Rodriguez. This is an excellent passing combination. Calvin Ramsey. It's Errol Sims here. <laughs> when player trades for set pieces and corners, you get, I mean, the, like recipients of set pieces or something, because they do have player trades for um, like t attempts, long free kick goals and stuff like Like that is a player trade already in the game. But it, like a player trait, something like, you know, creative headers or something, something like that, like a Sergio Ramos type trait, players that are just particularly good at creating space on set pieces. Maybe that would be a good trait to have in the game. Don't know how common it would be. All right, Maxime Rodier. Oh, what a touch! Savage, thank you for the 32 months. Uh, no, we are not. Believe it or not, we're not beating PSG yet. We're having a bit of a frustrating moment in the transfer window where we can't seem to get more, like, star players into the team. We've got good depth, but it's like we could get we could add one real superstar at each level with the money that we have, and we just can't do it right now. It's been a bit of a slow start to this one. Why is Kamala on the bench? Uh, because the other guy's better, I think. I mean, Kamala will be better than him in the future, but... The free agent right center back, whose name I always... Uh, Lima, I think is better right now. Oh, Ramsey. Ramsey! Pen. <laughs> Dang it! Oh, FCON Rodier! Why is it always Rodier? He is not a natural goal scorer. Right, I'm inspiring players by telling them they've not been good tonight. Ramsey's been fine. I'm going to switch up our distribution and our playing tempo. We're going to try and go over the top of them, and if we don't get that play quickly, we are going to slow down our possession. Not try and force the ball up the field as much. We're going to, you know, turn some levers, try and find an opening. Oh, have it, Rodier! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aslan Ray, thank you for the tier one. Thanks for supporting the stream. Enjoy the bacon and the emotes and being awesome. I'm watching the Dorfer save right now, and Nick Lima's trying to annihilate people on the pitch every game. Yes. That dude was a human missile. Max, thank you for the 37 months. Goodness, that's a long time. Welcome back. A 37. All right, we need subs. Uh, the wings are not doing it, and we do not have a lot of wingers to help. Alvaro Rodriguez, 15 more minutes. It's not it. It's time to go to Steven O'Day. Errol Sims here is going to come off for Lella Mala Bad Boy. Uh, we're also getting a bad performance from Pedro Bravo, so we're going to bring in... Matis Amugu. And Luca Dean is struggling, so Jacques Ecomier is nah, I mean we need we need the offense. Luca Dean's had a rough start to his career here, but hopefully he can give us something more.
Well, that was a good time to get hurt after we just made all those changes that make making a change in this position virtually impossible. So uh, Vanden Bellman's going to go up there. Nuno Lima's going to go there. Bengani Kamalo's going to come in. Okay, just how we drew it up. <laughs> By attacking midfielder, just went down with an injury. All right, very, very attacking. And we are going to change our distribution style. Roll it out. To a position to area or the whole back line. Bring the rest of it up. Do 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 do. All right, we'll bring the fullbacks up. Both of our fullbacks can do that. Please, Branko. Dang it. Rodier. Branko. Dean. So we're going to go attacking on the outsides. Nice shot by Dean, man. Good hit. Nice shot. All right. Oh, the bad boy was in. Well, that's a great ball to road. How dare you rob our boy Lella Mella bad boy of an assist there, Maxime Rodier. What is this nonsense? Nice. A little Dia. Mika Fai. Amogu, he's probably off, but he might not be. Oh, Stephen O'Day! That's what a waste on an offside. What a waste on an offside. That was disgusting. No, it wasn't. It, it wasn't a lot, but he was definitely off. Dude, we better. When I saw my center back stop going for that, I was very worried for a second. Oh, Maxime Rodier, nice ball, Ramsey. You see, Lila Mella, bad boy. You see options in the middle. Bad boy doesn't see them. He sees glory. Oh, he's ta he's taking he's going after this guy. He's taking it to him. He's doing his best. Nice, Samugu. That dude's from the reserve team. See, I give opportunities to guys as well. I saw talent in Amugu's game. Mangani Kumalo making his debut in a European match. Ramsey. Oh, you got caught behind Lelamilla bad boy. He's going to take you all the way to the corner flag like every time. Oh, Amugu. Somebody get my boy bad boy an assist. Somebody get my boy Lelamilla bad boy an assist. He has been putting some balls in.
Well, we managed to have to sell the whole team and build a team that could still win the first four matches of the league do a season. We are level with Mets, and we are hoping not to look back. That wasn't our prettiest win, but we were able to work our way. Oh, wow, he's out for two months. That sucks. I feel terrible for him. This poor dude, he's one of the few guys that was like, I'm going to stay. He is literally the only guy that was in the starting 11 of that match that was on the team when I got here. The only one. The one that decided that he was going to stick around and stick it out and try and help us get back up to the top flight. And he freaking hurt him. He, he, he freaking gets hurt. That sucks. Enough to bring a grown man to tears. <laughs> Okay, attacking midfielder is going to be for the next two months. Um, We'll go with Alain Diallo. Next up mentality. It's all about the next up mentality. And Dennis Kagan. Now works his way onto the bench for the first time. So we need a few more additions to the team that are not Gregory Vasilenko, and I'm just waiting to see who those guys are going to be. Claudio Machado. He's a little expensive. But it's also very clear he's going to be a great player. He, yeah, he's a, he's a physical freak, gets in the other area, able to cross the ball well. Still working on it. Is it? Hold on. See, those are all of the scouting finished we've got in the last 12 days. We didn't get any reports about those other guys. Just checking something. All right. Bad boy 2.0 vibes for that Argentinian kid. Uh, Yes. I agree. So Bravo got booked in three of the first four matches of the season, so he's already garnered his first card suspension of the year, which is kind of nuts. Like, that's hard to do. We've played four matches, and he's already out with a card accumulation suspension. So who else on here? Barrera. Well, we just started on Barrera and Perea. Carlos Cuesta, we're still kind of working our way through. A lot of, a lot of scout and holdups, my brother. How have we not finished with Ahmed Abdul Kader? I hear the director of football shouts. Oh, do we get a solidarity paint? Yeah, we got 51000 for Neil Maupai transfer. Sweet. It's headed to Dinamo Zagreb, which is a very football manager-esque transfer. I would love to sign this guy, but the foreign spots I do not want to occupy right now.
Do you have any European nonsense going on? Nope. All right, Santiago Castro. Manchester City loney that we wouldn't be able to afford. Actually, we might be, but... Yeah, the problem is our search filter isn't just EU national. It's so many things. You know, it's the entirety of the African, Pacific, and Caribbean trade union. It's a bunch of random countries just tacked on to the end. You got to have that insider knowledge. I like Max Caputo, too. I'd already looked at Victor Vitters, and I, I thought. Well, I clicked get scouting report, but nothing happened. So are we scouting them now? Yes. Okay, cool. try a uh, goalkeeper because that's probably a position that I yeah there just aren't goalkeepers that are good enough that we want to uh, we want to move on suggest targets for left and right okay uh, left wing I'm already working on Perea so nice try shelter up dude there's no way he would even be interested Andreas Sheldrup is way, 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 way too good to be on our team. Whatever you say, boss man. I've never heard the name Stefan Trakov before. Ever, ever. But maybe. Maybe. The dude's at AZ and he's only worth five to twelve million. Then he definitely, you know, what's crazy? Ivan Alves being worth fifty to seventy million means that his potential must be absolutely insane. Ivan Alves's potential must be bonkers. Percy, thank you for the prime. Like his potential, like his asking price is kind of dependent on potential. His potential ability is probably insanely high. Uh, Mateo Cafaro, who made it clear that he would have he would like to leave the club after transfer interest. You've been here for six years at St. Etienne. It's time to clear out the mess. Seven more million. What's up? We have $62 million in our balance in the second division with a $56 million transfer budget. Anybody that's interested in us that we think makes us a better team is absolutely in play for us to sign. Argentine, uh, we still haven't finished the scouting report on him. Liquid, thank you for the year. I appreciate you. Thank you for spending five dollars of Jeff Bezos' money. Uh oh, Shadera Ejuke has been offered a new contract. So the Rangers winger who might just well, he's been offered a new contract. He's also under a bid from Cardiff. No. Almost like personal decision, just no, I I not the guy I want. Wow, well, he's twenty six million. I'm good. Nwanchukwu hanging out at RB Leipzig and they don't recognize his ability. Oh, 
I restarted it. Okay. Does Alves have no interest in coming over? Yeah, I know. He has no interest in coming over. Alves has absolutely no interest in joining us. Oh, he rejected the deal. Franco Trojanski has moved. Don Rafone, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate you, brother. Oscar Perea, he's not as good as you made him. Come on. He's not as good as you made him sound. And then we just got our loan list notification for him and Marin Kalusic that we just found, you know, picked up some information on. Great athlete. Really, really good athlete. Adapts super well. But Oscar Parade, 24 to 29 million. I mean, he's very good. I don't quite see it. I mean, we're going to keep we're gonna keep tabs on him, but I, I don't quite see it. Marin Kalushic, I'm going to keep tabs on him, but I, I don't quite see it. You know, I, I, don't, I don't see it. You know, I'm also not seeing us finishing any reports. How's Barrera? Oh, we don't know at all. Because Barrera looks like he'll be a little cheaper, and he also looks like he could be very good. Now, those were, um, they were notifications that they were on the loan list. But with the money we have, we'd probably prefer to buy people. If it comes, you know, down to the end of the transfer window, maybe a loan for Perea makes sense. How many scouts do you have? Not enough. We have seven. Endrick. Yes, Real Madrid's notoriously excited to get rid of Endrick. I had the same bug with the reports, turn the game off and turn it back on again, and it should work. Maybe those are all just the residual from kind of yesterday. Yesterday, the reports were bugging out, but now today they aren't. I don't know. We were getting scouting reports in our inbox earlier today. I just have forwarded them. I want to see if I, I get them in the scouting center. I've forwarded my scouting reports to the scouting center. We're going to have a very active deadline day, I'm imagining. We're also missing two guys for this match. We're missing our attacking midfielder, which sucks because that dude was FCON was very good. Kept the game, kept the team ticking over. Very competent player, and we're missing Bravo, our defensive midfielder. Also sucks. We're not a super deep team. I can't believe they got thirty twelve million for thirty three year old Daryl Linehan to go to Real Faladolid. Wait. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Shelter up. Uh, we finished the report on Andreas Shelter up. He's only 20 million and he's extremely interested in a transfer. That's the guy. He's asking to leave Benfica. I don't know why, but that's, I mean, that's the guy. He All he wants is initially agreed playing time. They just messed up how much he was playing. I think we, I, I mean, this is a bona fide star player for us. I, I'm in. I'm totally in. I'm totally in, chat. We're going. We are off to the races. All right, I'm going to give you 16 and a half, but try and get installments to cover the rest. Just because I want to win this negotiation. Fine, I will pay you the 20 million. Oh my God, I hate it here. I'll be back tomorrow when I can reset the negotiation and just pay 20 and a half and get the guy. I tried to somehow get a cheaper deal and they uh they they were not they were not particularly enthusiastic about that um thought process. This Victor Moreno kid plays a lot of positions, plays them well with athleticism and intelligence. I really like Victor Moreno. He's also asking to move. Is he wants a new contract, they won't give it to him, which is foolish on their part. Ah, old Elix Moraba, who is cheap but would ask for a truly insane amount of money. Or are we dancer? All 
My hands are cold. And I'm on my knees looking for the answer. Are we human? Or are we shelter up? I'm looking for the answer, and shelter up is the answer. Mario Martin. Now that is another talented defensive midfielder, Mario Martin. Works his butt off, plays well, dubious interest. He wouldn't want to move from Bordeaux, but you kind of don't like big matches, do you? Yeah, that's... Looking for all-around mentality monsters, not this nonsense. Tejan Buchanan, who has Jamaican nationality, so he actually does fit into our team quite well. Would count as an IU player, so we've always liked him. Aaron Connolly, how you doing? How you doing? Looking for the answer. Loves a big match, incredibly consistent. EU player from Ireland. But plays in England, so he's stupid expensive. 26 to 37 million. Give me a break. Dual sided complete wing back, Eric Mesa. Yorbe Verdison. Okay. Luka Veljkovic. Ah, oh, finally, we have now finished scouting. Ob uh, yeah, so this is working. This is sending it to our scouting center. I'm just going to do that because I'm scared of how broken and what it, it seemed to be. We were missing guys, but it seems to be working. Ahmad Abdelkader, who does not have any other nationality, he would. Is he a? Is he? Do we know for sure? Is he a foreign player, or are they not in the African whatever of African states? No, they're not. Drat. Are they in the special exempt category? No, they're not. Egypt is us, or Yelta. Congratulations on your move to Lecce. Congratulations, you're playing for milk. Point is, this whole send it to the scouting center thing seems to be working. Ahmed Abdulkader. Good guy to keep an eye on, but I don't think he's somebody we're going to sign this year. Adil Demirbag. The 11 jumping reach is what kills this for me because he's clearly an absolute maniac of a center back with a lot of talent. I just str I, I struggle with that. But Demirbag, I, I do like you. You're another guy I want to keep track of. Erwin Saavedra, incredibly adaptable, but just a little... Ah. Uh... No, but I, I've like I've liked him for for a long time. All right, Oscar Perea, our scouting is completely finished. He's unhappy at Tottenham. I would imagine some sort of like playing time spat because he's not quite good enough to get on the field at a Tottenham type team. Okay, Matthias Olsen, I you're not good enough. Oh, we're working on Kundal. Already finished with Luke Kundal. That was very fast. Good player, and they're weirdly not asking for a crazy amount of money for him. Musa Jinipo, just not interested. Um, not interested right now. Is Ismaili Brahimli. Wow, we finished that really fast, and I like most of what he's got going on, but the adaptability, the big matches, that stuff's just not – doesn't do it for me. All right, we're still waiting for the finished reports on uh, Jordan Barrera. Uh, and Claudio Machado, we need to go in and offer Shelter up tomorrow. Yeah, Jinipo has deteriorated really a lot. I actually like Musa Jinipo, like in his base, like his base level at the start of a game. I really like Jinipo, but. All right, Shelter up. Andreas. You better be the first Andreas on the list. Embarrassing. Absolutely. But not even on the first list. Where is he? Oh, he is. He is. He's on the first page. 
Do, 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 do. All right, there's your 20 million. Let me talk to the golden boy here. Let me talk to the golden boy. Let me talk to the star. Yeah, dude, I got no problem with that at all. You're a freaking animal. Nine promotion release clause of 51 million. Bro, I'll put that at 30 million. If we don't get promoted, I'll lock at in 30 million. I just want to be able to remove both of these things. Friendly relationship? Yeah, I figured we would. You know, I've never met you, Elizabeth Diaz. Yeah, lock in that 30 mil. What's up? 2.75 mil. I mean, it's an easy transfer deal for us. The amount of money we've had come in, we could sign that. We could sign him three times over. Andreas Shelderup. I mean, it's crazy the kind of work that we've got going on. Ricardo Pagano. He sucks eggs, but we got an offer out for Andreas Shelderup, who is a ridiculous. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. I'm waiting for the ridiculous difference maker, the guy that it's like it's crazy that we're able to get after him. Oh, Adil Demirbag is getting interest from Etafe. I guess that was a very short window. Jasper Hartog. I mean, I guess he could, you know, we could sign a guy that's a star on both wings. We do have that ability. Do, 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 do. Who's hurt? Lekovic, you don't get to play when you're hurt, man. Stop trying to sneak into the team, dude. I got to sign Ilyx Mora, but his wage demands are ridiculous. They're always ridiculous, but do I need Ilyx Moroba and Andrea Shelder up in the second division of France? Probably not. Grigory Vasilenko, that uh, talented young center back from Russia. We're just yoinking him out of Russia on compensation. I, I can't resist a good signing. Russia counts as EU, too, for French purposes. Welcome to the team, homie. Just me, entirely unable to resist a good signing. Benedetti rejected his move. Oh, we are a little watered down today. We've got Elaine Diallo getting the start in Amu Amugu. Popping into the midfield because of the uh, the rash of injuries to Efcon and Koulibaly and Pedro Bravo being suspended. And the fact that we really don't have a lot of other midfielders in the entire team. So that kind of colors things. Definitely need one or two more central midfielders. But Amugu should be able to cover for the day. Errol Shimshir. Are really, really good defense. Uh, and Alvaro Rodriguez is out there. Who are we playing? Anansi? Something like that. That sounded right. <sighs> we are the favorites. I want us to play like it. At home again, I want us to be a dominant force. We signed Bad Boy? Yes, we did. Of course, Lelamella Bad Boy is on the team. I'm very curious how our French Cup run is going to go. Do, do you have visions of grandeur if we get the right signings? Because I do. I think we're the type of team that could make a really deep French Cup run that puts me on the map as a manager. I think we have the capacity. Another reserve player. Amugu and Elaine Diallo, both reserve players when I got here. Getting an opportunity to impress today. And Maxime Rodier was also a reserve player, but that dude was destined for the first team, whether I got here or not. Nice work there from Amugu. All right, Venden Bowman. Diallo. Keep it moving, keep it moving. You see the... Come on, just get... Oh, 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 oh! It's the reserve boy, Alain Diallo, in his home debut. What about that? They were concerned about Alain Diallo's output in his first start. Well, they should have been concerned about what he was going to do to Anansi. What a hit. 
from Alain Diallo. The eye for talent never fails, chat. It never fails. What a goal by Alain Diallo. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine. I love those types of shots that bend over the top of the keeper. Not the one, not the ones that hook as much as the ones that you feel bend over the top of the keeper. Well, that's a pen. So that's great. Well, that is a penalty. Thank you, Lima. Lima, you weren't even close to the ball, man. Frustrating. Should have been able to sail away after getting an early banger like that. Do do. Oh, great positioning by Vanden Bowman. Chance to run for Shimshir. Aral Shimshir. Oh, I like it. Oh, nice run. Oh, that's fine. Ramsey's there. Shimshir. Alain Diallo, Maxime Rodier. Square it. Oh, I don't. That was a tough angle. Oh, yo, Amugu. Oh, that was one of those really tough angles. It just bounced through. Great work by Rodier. Errol Shimshir seems to be a lot more awake than his debut, which is nice. So let's see what he can do with this. The Turk, Errol Shimshir. Oh, play it. Branko Vandenboomen's on the break. He's flying ahead. Amugu, who's a very comfortable passer, couldn't find an opportunity to pass that forward. Oh, Branko, look at the fullback. Look at Ramsey with the overload. It's a bad pass. Great pass in. But as a bad pass to Ramsey, pushed him way away from the dangerous area. But how can I hate Vandenboomen? He just wins the ball right back immediately. Alain Diallo. Alain Diallo. He is a good dribbler. Oh, he brings it back to Branko. What a pass! Oh, Elaine Diallo's looking like a player. Who needs Ivan Alves? We've got Elaine Diallo. Oof. Oh, Ramsey's overlapping on Luca Dean. Oh, it's Alvaro. We look fun today. Yeah, we are energetic. Creative. And keeping the pressure on. I think Vanden Bowman's been a huge addition just for his leadership as well. Because we pull in the right direction when we go behind or when we get leveled or like after they score, we usually, last couple matches, we've absolutely brought the heat. We're bringing it again. I'm going to go into attacking and hit and encourage again. I love what I'm seeing. When Alvaro Rodriguez hit the target a little bit more with those headers, but. That's mine. Gotta be. Oh, I mean, respect. Nice effort. I mean, jump man's special. He's just a weapon, right? He's a he is a weapon. He does what he does, and he does it as well as you can in the entire game. Alvaro Rodriguez, a little more well-rounded. So, but in those straight-on aerial situations. He'll struggle a little more. What a play by Mika Fey. Lima was about to get cooked there, but Mika Fey just swept that up. He's been great since he came in. Very unheralded player. One Barcelona appearance in four years while he was there. Just a reserve guy. Oh! Mikael Fey. Vanden Bowman. Branko Vanden Bowman taking it to the wing himself. Underlap, Amugu, Amugu. That was blocked, right? No, yeah. Surely. We don't have our best corner threat. The big Colombian defensive midfielder who's suspended today. Oh, nice play. We're, we're just great mentality in the team. Strong step. Dang it, Ramsey.
Oh, nice run by the ageless wonder, Luca Dean. Amago, that uh, uh, dude. Get one shot that's not blocked, Amago. Alvaro, dang it. Well, it's been a really good half from us. See if we can counter this. Please don't fall into the goal. Now, Calvin Ramsey's already been good. He's one of the best players on our team. So it's not about his late development. He's he's already, he's 23 now. Um, he's one of the best players on our team. Oh, nice pass. Maxime Rodier. Max, oh. look for the pass to Alvaro, man. So much less likely to score it if you take it out and do that. Ooh, this would be perfect. I want to praise them for the resilience at halftime. Shimshir. Oh, Amagu to Rodier. Oh, Diallo should have looked to the wing. I mean, Luka Dean's just sitting out there by himself. Dude's got a wand of a left foot. We should get it to him. Keep, create, keep creating chances. All right, Errol Shimshir, I thought you were off to a good start, but you're not, so we're going to go with a old Lelamella bad boy halftime sub. Just get that hard running at the goal. Keep put it, right mentality, right energy, hard running at the goal on the wings. That's what we... You know, we're bringing our superstar wings in, but our talented young wings have carried the load early in the season, and they've done it with very direct... Up the field wing play. Ramsey. Oh, Rodier! Oh! Rodier is quite tall. Dean. All right, Mika. Really like the way our team is playing. We have an identity. We have a direction. Our defense has been better than I thought it would be, particularly Mika Faye. I know we've really been tooting his horn in this match, but... My Selene Diallo, perfect. That's what we want, that big cross ball. Here goes Ramsey. Looking for Maxime Rodier. Well, this is not going well. Ramsey's turned his uh, night around a little bit. Alvaro Rodriguez has been quiet. We've got some serious nerves on the bench. I'm going to try Oday. Oday's got a lot of pace, and Alvaro Rodriguez is not playing well in this game. That's a gut punch right there, dude. That was not a particularly good chance for them. They have not really been on us that much either. All right. Um... Who else do we have? Let me let me look around. We've got Kagan. 
Rodier is desperate. I, I don't know if I've ever seen that. Uh, we do have Kevin and Babu. We've got Magani Kumalo. I'm going to bring him in for Lima. Um, we have two other subs outside of that. I don't, I'm, not, I'm looking at my bench, and I don't know if I'm seeing somebody that's like going to... I suppose we could go Kagan. I suppose the move is this right here. Or you leave him here, and then you bring in... Kagan can play striker, I think. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop you. Keep him stapled to the backside here. Have Kagan come in and sit in that spot. Hammer the ball up the field. I want something else. We're getting crazy out here. I don't want to lose to one on C. Ryan, thank you for the four months, dude. I appreciate it. Don Raffon, thank you for the prime. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. Thank you for supporting the stream. It's unlucky for me. Cafe slid in and won the ball, and it skipped across the face of the goal to a guy and keeper out of position because he's coming up to defend the other play. Yeah, Ramos not moving is a little concerning to me. He just stood there and watched that absolute howitzer come flying in. All right, guys, this should be pretty straightforward. Wide. Got to be wide. There you go. Great work from Bangani Kumalo. All right, Kagan. Now you know, things are alive. Brank up. Dang it, Branko. I'll get there. All right, Rodier, Dane. That's all right. Keep a lid on it. Oh, little bad boy. He was. He was off. He was offside. It it felt weird. It looked weird. He was offside. I go with Mbabu for the last five minutes. I think fresh legs, particularly with the overlap, could help, and Mbabu's not bad. All right, make, make the pass. Mbabu. Ah. Mbabu. Oh, man, if that was Alvaro, that actually would have been a big time spot. Oh, he missed it. Well, they've broken out. This is not a good spot for our formation to be in. Oh, nice. Dude, look at what a terrible ball. Oh, all you have to do is get that up the field, Claudio. What a terrible ball. Casually, thank you for the 46 months. I appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. Oh, Claudio, that's a terrible ball. We have so many guys up the field. Just smack it up there. Nice, O'Day. Run. Just run. J -j oh, my God, Maxime. Come on. We have some speed now. Let's go, boys. Two goals. I see the future. I see the two goals. Why is he taking that touch inside? Nice play by Mbabu. Kagan. Lelamilla bad boy. Lelamilla bad boy. Lelamilla bad boy. He's found an opening. Well, hopefully we, I, I don't think we have enough time to score two, but if this is our highlight, maybe we can go get one. Nice. Bandon Bowman. I mean, we've got the ball. Okay. 
Oh, Steven, it's there. It's there. Couldn't get it through the defender. Everybody in the goalkeeper's up now. Branko, Vanden Bowman. Come on! Oh! Oh, it was it was the, the the script had been written. It was Bangani Kumalo in his second game. Yeah, they had two chances the whole game. We gave him a penalty in the first half, and then that that one defensive mistake in the second half, and we um scored that banger super early, but that's a really disappointing loss considering the way the match went. And that drops us off the pace that Mets is setting. I need to eat, I need, I need to eat lunch after that. I need to eat lunch after that. Got a chicken salad sandwich today. If I had to sign Jean Neves, I would love to sign Jean Neves. We're working on a deal for Andreas Shelder up right now, though. This is our last match before deadline day right here. Why that's not the default setting. Like if I loan a guy out, I want you to pay his entire wage. Oh, it hasn't reset. Okay. Well. That is a goal, lad. Lorenzo said the Mozambican international with 17 to 21st touch playing in the Mozambique League and RB Leipzig are on him. Honestly, screw it, dude. I want him. I have no idea how good he is at all. I want him. I want him, and I'm gonna offer him more playing time, and maybe he'll want to come to, uh, come to be with me. I, I, he's an he's a good athlete too. The dude, he looks really impressive. This guy must be ridiculous. He's showing up here and he's already asking for regular starter playing time. He must be absurd. I really, really want him on my team. I really, really want this guy on my team. This is a big swing in the dark, but when you've got all the money that we have, but when you got all the money that we have, I I, I really want this guy on my team. We've got we've got all the money. 
I want Lorenzo Sade to say yes to the dress and come from the Mozambican League straight to... Dude, these chips are good. I got some dill pickle chips from Trader Joe's. Damn. All right. Contract offer. Appearance fee. Literally 7.5K. Goal bonus, 11.5K. Non-promotion release clause, relegation release clause. Maintain confidence at all times. Guarantee you'll be playing in league all next year at a big club. We need him to say yes and be like, absolutely, I love you. My scouting's just broken. How on earth did we scout this guy in three hours? I'm crushing these dill chips, though. All right, that's where I'm comfortable. So sometimes my, my scouts don't even send the dang thing into my... Wow, that was fast. Andreas Shelderup. Once is initially... What, what was it? He once is initially agreed playing time. Had a falling out at Benfica. Once an opportunity to go somewhere and play. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. That's the signing of the year right there. That is the signing of the year. That is the type of signing that elevates a team so ridiculously. Andreas Shelderup, just an elite player. Yeah, that one goes up to the director of football. I didn't even think somebody like this was in the target range for us. And I asked him and he went, you know, Shelter Up is um, upset at his club right now. And I was like, really? No. All right, so we got one signing. We're looking for a stud from Mozambique. Have you seen him? Lorenzo Said. No, he's a, he's a special player. You guys don't see the vision yet. This is a really special player. He's a pretty good athlete. Um, the mindset is there. The professionalism's there with the level-headed. Uh, the, you know, it, like, he, we're talking about a guy that could have 20 touch right this, this is the mozambique's messy is that guy right there we see the vision it's 11 fair comeback
That was a record transfer for our club. the hell did you come from? That is a way better goalkeeper than I thought China had with the minor dislike of big matches combined with the uh, foreign player requirement that we're dealing with right now we're not going to go after him that is a good player. That is, no doubt about it. That is a good player from the Chinese league with a foreign league release clause, which is hilarious and awesome. Gorka Guruzetta. Oh, I mean, he is cheap as hell, but I'm good. All right. Hey, uh, GM, you want to throw me some, uh, throw me some other bones here. Abdul Malik Al Ayari, Marius Vorl, and Victor Vitterson. You already threw me, Victor Vitterson. He's way too expensive. Julien Fournier, I need more. More! Yo, Slovenian wonder kid Marcel Ratnik. I love Marcel Rodnick. Tobias, Palacio, and Martin Georgiev. A fluid, intelligent ball player from the Bulgarian national team. We've already uh, we've already looked at a little bit. And right wings now. We already have Shelder up. So you already gave me Hartog. Did we finish that? Yeah, we have. <whistles> yes, for Hartog can boogie. Hey, what was the final score of the... Oh, so Iran did finish with a 1-0 win over Hong Kong. So Iran has basically guaranteed its trip through. Hong Kong will play Palestine. The winner will have the opportunity to go through as a third-place team if there is a winner between Palestine and Hong Kong. Vietnam is out. Iraq beat Japan. And Senegal closed out their 3-1 win over Cameroon in one of the best group stage ties of AFCON, at least on paper by ranking. The other two teams in the group, Guinea and Gambia. So they just kicked off. Musa Barro leading the line for the Gambia, trying to make something happen. It's a very talented squad for the Gambia, but they almost died on their flight there. So probably trying to figure that out. Barnes, thank you for the 18 months. Nitrov, thank you for the four. Or the eight, sorry. 
Twitch pregnancy is not going well. Maybe a better goalkeeper could save it. <laughs> Look, well, last time we did suggested goalkeepers, they threw he threw out guys I already knew that weren't that good. He keeps throwing out Van Hout, but I don't think Van Hout is like actually better than Claudio Ramos. No, Rivera doesn't quite like big matches, and Andre Gomez, we, we don't know how good he is, but we probably will know how good he is in about five seconds because all of a sudden our scouts are absolutely unstoppable. Oh, Shelter up unveiling, right. He's got a bag of somebody. Can he make the difference between winning and losing? Yeah, he's the type of player that could prove crucial. What's the position we feel we'll get most out of him? He's playing left wing. He's a great capture for the club, 100%. Club has to continue to look at improving the squad. We're going to signal that more transfers are on the way. I have a U20 team that's not playing in a U20 competition. Is it possible to insert them in uh, using the editor? I've never tried to do that. Does anybody know? Anybody have any idea whether that's possible or not? Because I have no clue. That sucks. I'm very excited about Lorenzo side. Please be good, Lorenzo. Please be good. Oops. It all goes on okay. Where is Ecomier? There he is. Lima, Faye, Ecomier, Ramsey. Bravo, Vanden Bowman, Errol Jims here, Maxim Rodier. You're out. It was all flowed on. Actually, uh, no, no, no. I like Diallo. We'll leave, we'll leave Diallo in. Elaine Diallo will stay in. Like, we could move Shelter up to the middle and then Maxim Rodier like other side, but we've not found the answer at right wing. Bad Boy and Shimshir have dropped consecutive. Bad performances, so that that's something we'd like to fix. And we are looking to move Briançon. I'm going to put him on the uh, transfer list. I'm going to offer him out for a cool 250000 and see if somebody wants him. Please and thank you. Start Kamalo. Yeah, I would agree with that. Nuno Lima's been a little shaky recently. We'll give Bungani a chance. Use the young lads when we can. Please give me all the players that you know. Oh, we finished with Carlos Cuesta. Yeah, he would be the best uh, center back, wouldn't he? Luton Town's Carlos Cuesta. Oh, he got relegated, and he's like, I don't want to play in the championship, so. They're interested. Kind of expensive? Yeah, we knew we always knew he was going to be expensive. Live insane. Uh, do we, we have no knowledge, Jordan Barrera. It sucks. I want to learn. Kelly, and thank you for the 38 months, dude. 
That's awesome. Uh, okay, we've got 16 reports in. Let's check those out real quick. Math. So we finished Claudio Machado. He's very consistent as a player. He brings the heat every time he steps on the pitch, but he's 10 to 15 million and extremely doubtful that he'd be interested. So he'd demand a ton of playing time. I think he might like, he was a guy that we jumped out of our seat when he popped up as like a guy that could be a real serious wonder kid, but especially with the lack of adaptability. Yeah, the, we have the uh, scouting stuff comes into our scouting center now. Not a lot of different elements to his game. Baltazar Rodriguez, dude, nice. Have I ever done a Youth Academy Challenge? Uh, no, I actually have not. I actually I actually have not done a youth academy challenge. The youth academy challenge is you can't sign anyone. You just run your team with the players that come through your youth academy. This guy's weird. Like, I kind of want to sign him, but I also don't. He's a very weird player. Feels the game well. Not super expensive. Definitely want, He definitely wants to play for me currently. In, um, he's in La Liga, but I, I guess he's just not getting a lot of playing time or doesn't like his role there or... Or he just hates paella. I mean, yeah, it's true. I didn't. I didn't consider that possibility. My man really just hates paella. All right, they already finished taking a look at Wesley, and he is a lively winger who can play on both sides really comfortably. He's a right-footed guy with a ton of flair, a preference for big matches, consistency. But the problem is he'd be asking for a ton of money. He'd be occupying one of the foreign player spots and we'd cost it cost over 11 million to get him. How is that possible though? I mean, it is. If you have like a Real Madrid level academy or like Athletic Bilbao literally does it in real life. <laughs> What did Luke Littler win? I see you guys talking about him. Do, do, do. Some Masters tournament thing? Oh, nice. Uh, he is, of course, a master at 16 years old. I didn't know they had, like, I, I thought it was just like the world championship and then nobody paid attention until the next world championship. I didn't know there was like a a full cycle going on. 
Last match before what is sure to be a lively deadline day as we figure out exactly what we actually want on our team. So it's some Middle Eastern sports washing tournament. Hey, not all the no, the entire Middle East is not cut from an equal cloth here. Let's let's not do that. All right, let's be responsible with our assumptions. Where was it? Up the hammers, lads! Thank you for the thirty-three muds, Bahrain. I don't, I don't think I know enough about Bahrain to be honest. I know it's attached to Saudi Arabia physically. I mean, I really feel like Bahrain's probably feeling left out. All their buddies in the um, Arabian Peninsula are doing all this fun stuff, and Bahrain's like, well, what are we doing? Nothing. We got to step up our game. <laughs> We're doing nothing. There hasn't been one weird, awkward sporting event in Bahrain. What a missed opportunity. Yeah, somebody said Luke Littler, Luke Littler won something, so I was just asking what it was. Guinea and Gambia still nil-nil in the AFCON. Oh, my God, we got him. Lorenz Sosaid has decided to play for us. We actually got him. Oh, they do have a Grand Prix. They do have a Grand Prix. There is a Bahrain Grand Prix. I didn't know that. I don't know why. But there's a, yeah, they'll put a Grand Prix on the moon. You can tell those chips were pretty good. No, I did not finish the whole bag today. I've been working on that bag for a few days with lunch every day. But those chips are dangerous. All right. Lorenz Saucede, the 19-year-old Mozambique League midfielder. And all we had to do was pay 37000 for him and promise him some serious playing time. So he's going to be getting on the field some. There we go, baby. There we go. With his athleticism, the Regista works well. Uh, yeah. Our team cohesion is so bad. Oh, my. We, we, we have, like, the entire team is new. The entire team is new, so we will come together. We will come together. Dude, what is wrong with my game right now? My game feels broken. Like, things just aren't working. Like, I offer out to a transfer room. It's supposed to take a couple of days. It does like what it all you know, sometimes I'll scout people, they don't come into my inbox, but some people were scouting like instantly. We just have full knowledge of them instantly. Chillis, thank you for the prime, dude. Mitch, thank you for the 36 months. No, that doesn't have anything to do with the skin. At least if it does, it I don't, I don't know how the skin would even reach that. Like, how would, how would the skin speed up the time that it, the game takes to process an offer to, like, the, the <laughs> offer to the transfer room? It's like, I, it's, things are weird. If I side pushed a little bork up there, I don't know. There's something, something's amiss right now. Something is amiss. It's weird. As somebody that plays the game a lot right now, it's playing a little weird today. It's playing games with me. 
All right, Lorenzo Said is in there for Amugu as the midfield sub. Uh, in the back burn. A uh. couple more additions. We're excited about the potential of a couple more additions. Briançon is going to be on the way out. And we're looking to loan Vasilenko as well. All right. Meanwhile, who are we playing? We have all, uh, we, we have Andreas Schelder up on the team now. Our twenty million dollar record breaking signing against the number seven, and Lorenzo Said, who gets seventeen. The guy that we just signed for the Mozambique League who just turned nineteen. I expect the win tonight. Put that expectation on the team. We got a group of guys that want to be here. Let's show how much we want to be here. Let's show how much we don't want to be here and back in Ligue 1 as a club. A lot of expectation on this season. Have to deliver. Won our first four matches. Disappointing loss at home against Anansi. We keep giving up pens, which is annoying. But play with energy. Play in the half of the field, lads. That should work. Uh, goalkeeper distribution I need to change. I want it to be that all the time. Well, that's a hell of a start. Thank you. We are starting Bengani Kumalo at center back today. Over Lima. As an executive decision. After Lima's poor couple of matches. Shelter up. Andreas. Oh, that, I mean, it's a penalty. I don't even know who drew it. They both got just destroyed. We, we just got the duo pen. Did we get two? Do we get two penalties for that? Is it possible to get two penalties for that? Shelter ups cross creates a penalty chance for Branko Vandenboomen. Branko! Staring at the Troy fans. Staring daggers at him as he celebrates with the Saint Etienne. Players and fans and oh. Okay, Boomer. Yes, nice. Oh no. Oh, nice play by Bravo. God, it's just a bit lazy on the front end to let that ball go right through us. All right, Ramsey. Oh, I hate that pass from Errol Shimshire. He should have taken a touch and shot the ball. Vanden Bowman. Shimshire, that's better. That's better. Oh, like that. Bravo. Goodness, Ramsey. That was good hustle. Good hustle to get back. It's just bad 
all around from us. Oh. No, step in on that touch. How do we let him have that touch, Calvin? How do we let him have that touch? Step onto that. We are very aggressive in the way that we set up so that we can cut out that type of play. Do not give him the room to bring that ball down. Then you're going to have to deal with it for the next 50 yards. Oh, Diallo! I want to see a highlight where Shelter up ends up on the ball attacking the other team. That's what I want to see. Can I, can I see that highlight? We'll try a different role. Uh, I don't want to go full off of the winger mold, but try that. Andreas. He was off. How is he onside? Well, Zealand is very simple by being onside. Might as well buy Ramsey a blanket and a pillow if he's going to hang out like that back there. Now, this, is, this has been bad, guys. I know you were sleepwalking, assuming this is fine, playing an absolute clunker. Calvin Ramsey doing just nothing. Lower the tempo and play out of the back a bit more. Try and get ourselves in the saddle. Try and get ourselves in the saddle. Chill is smiling. Thank you for the five months. Newcomb, thank you for the five months. This team seems good enough to finish top half of league all. Well, we need to actually show it if that's the case. There you go. Shelter up. Good pocket of space. It's okay. Still his ball. Andreas Shelter up. Baranko Vanden Boomen. Oh, slick pass in Diallo. Brilliant. Elaine Diallo. Brilliant. From the reserve player, Alain Diallo. Who's got his second goal, waits for the, the movement, and then cooks a quick shot by Pence. I nearly brought him out at halftime, but I wanted to see a little bit more of what he had going. Because we do have the Mozambican kid behind him. And Alain made me maybe not regret that decision. Oh. Uh, guys, guys. Guys, they have one player, okay?
Kamala just got beat, man. Kamala just got beat. He got beat by the touch, beat by the turn, and immediately we are toast. All right, bad boy. Um, you're in for Shimshir. Alvaro Rodriguez is doing absolutely nothing again. It sucks. Just need to get Errol Shimshir off because he's had a really terrible start to his career here. He's not doing much of anything. Switch the roll on Ramsey to see if we can shake it up. He just continues to not give us much to work with. Jacques Secomier is getting a bit heavy-legged. We're going to take him off. Shelderup's getting frustrated. We'll bring in Stephen O'Day, who's not scared of his own shadow today. And we're going to bring in Lorenzo Sade and Maxim Rodier. I'd prefer to leave, obviously, Shelderup on, but he's tired and... Not playing well and kind of newer to the team, so we're going to do that. Now we're going to make some adjustments. And up to all the way. Very attacking. Man, hit that ball up to the back post, will you? Oh, good pass. Jeez, Ramsey. It's all the cohesion. It's just, the you know, we the entire team has changed. And that's, you know, in a lot of leagues where that normally happens, where you have to overhaul, like, the entire team every year, your opponents are also having to do the same thing, but we haven't. So it's all in the cohesion and just need to hammer cohesion creating uh, things. Thank you, Bengani. Way to stay on your uh, way to not do something stupid there. Nice scales. Come on, let's steal it. Let's steal it. Oh, little, little bad boy. Love the love the speed of the attack. Here's Sade. The Mozambique. Little, little bad boy corner. I don't think it brings the goalkeeper up, but I want to test it. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, cool. Oh, that was them. Back to Rodier. Ramsey. Do not shoot that, you idiot. Near side. Oh, good ball. Bad boy. Offside. It's off. It's off. It's off. It's off. It's off. It's off. I saw the flag go up immediately. It was the guy that crossed it. It was the ball back in. It was offside. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's pretty pretty clearly off. Rodier. Well finished, obviously, in a clutch moment. But All right, very important deadline day coming up. Very important deadline day coming up, right? We need good signings. Yeah, I figured that was a little low, but maybe, maybe we go get ourselves another goalkeeper, right? Maybe we go get ourselves another goalkeeper and turn Claudio Ramos into a backup behind Andre Gomez. See, the issue for Claudio is he's really unathletic. 
It's a little smarter, but he's really unathletic. And I think the lack of athleticism is what's been hurting him. Uh, he's good. He's another natural shadow striker. Good pass for the ball. Great Holy Trinity. Very talented athlete. Would count as a, a foreign player. Yeah, something's wrong with football manager today. I, I not today, today and yesterday. We're like, I'll start scouting somebody and then I just learn them instantly. And I don't know what the cause of that is. On only on certain players, I'll start scouting them and just instantly learn everything about them. And then other guys it'll take me forever, which is kind of normal. And then like What what just hit um Yeah, I had I had the ten million dollar transfer fee that just we didn't get in our transfer budget. Like we had a ten million dollar transfer fee that just didn't come in through our transfer budget. I mean, unless something in scouting is changed, you know, and then players we scouted and finished scouting wouldn't appear in our inbox, you know? And there was something else that just popped up too that I was like, that's just not right. Weird. Weird stuff going down. We need a star right wing. There's a seven million from earlier. Now that hit the transfer budget. We just spent twenty million. The seven million from earlier hit the transfer budget. We need a we need a star right wing. We need another um midfielder that we can kind of work in the rotation. Lorenzo Said is is fun, but um I have a couple of fun young attacking midfielders. Come 
I want to loan Kagan out, I don't see him playing anywhere. He's actually a better backup striker than anything. Vasilenka is going to go to the second team squad. I don't see us needing him, Brian Saul. Yeah, yeah, the transfer room thing. I'm like offering out Brian Saul and nobody's coming in. Not that nobody's coming in for him, but like the transfer room just resets immediately. But we'll, do, we'll just focus up and do, you know, let's just play the game. Um, let us play the game. We need a, we need a good transfer window. We do. Mauro Silvera. What does that even mean? Noah Rivier doesn't like big matches. I mean, we'll probably be able to find out how good these guys are and like who I already know how good this guy is. Bandila Modise, no. Andre Gomez. Not quite as smart as the other guy. Nora Viva. Hating big matches. Great way to get me to hate you. Well, let's just compare him for for giggles. Let's just compare him with Claudio Ramos. We don't have a clean sheet. Oh, wait, we do. We, we clean sheeted Paris FC to start the stream. Never mind. Oh, it's like the first time the entire window. We just don't have any deals that are currently active at all. All right, well, we need a midfielder. I know that. We need at least one, maybe two, that can play defensive midfield. Croatian Marin Kalusic, who's moved to sporting, has not started. Well, he hasn't gotten out of the field for them yet. I really like Mohamed Kaba. I think Mohamed Kaba is an even better player. I have no idea what they would want. He might consider a deal. They're looking for 4.2 to 6.4. You expect to be one of the most noteworthy players at the club. Which is tough for us to swing. Um, okay. I don't think we'd be able to do that because we need somebody that's willing to accept at least not playing a ton. Oh, they transfer listed Mutagata. That's fast. Not legit. Thank you for the 26 months of the prime. I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. Another bad boy. Yeah, there, there are multiple bad boys out there. Kalusic. It's actually on the loan list. Technically wouldn't need to make a move on him. And then, of course, there's Senderberga. Let's ask what they would want. But expect to be a star and play as many matches as possible. Uh, they've lowered it to important player from star player, which is not... I want somebody that is the very most a regular starter because Sanderberg is not better than the guys that we have starting right now, so it's not like he's going to step into the team and be like, ah, here he is. The savior, you know. That's not it. Julian Lop uh, Julian Lopez is mm. good. What would Kalusic want? Hi, hi, we're interested. Expect to start most matches. Will you lower that? 
Yeah, okay, Kaluzic might be the guy then. Kaluzic might be the guy, and he's not the best guy that we're looking at, but he also is willing to... None of these guys are starters. He's willing to accept the most reserved role. Yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. All right, more chair content. Just because you said that, I'm going to stand up. I'm kind of at a kind of at a very interesting impasse where the limit is like, you know, we have I I think a very very good starting eleven. We have players that fit the role and do very well in the role and make a lot of sense. We've got talent, young talent. Right, Elaine Diallo, the kid from Mozambique, shelled her up. This Aral guy has had a brutal start to his career here. Aral Shimshir, which is why I'm like, yo, we need to get another right wing in. Ramsey's going to go back to this. We are going to start rolling out to um, the center backs. We don't have a crazy athletic team, so I kind of want to use our quality, build the play up a little bit more, spread the other team out, use that space to exploit the teams that we're playing against with our very good midfield, be in a pretty attacking mindset. Um, okay. I'm gonna take off get stuck in as well. Like that's that's gotten us into some issues. It's gotten us into some problems. Who else is good that we know about now? Sander Berga, Eric Ullman, Kalusic, Monty Kamara. Yeah, we know. We know about all these guys. Mvue, Mohamed Kaba. Kaba's definitely better than that, but whatever. Pike Sangoon, that's a uh, okay. fun name. Eric Ullman, he's not good enough. Okay. So it really is these couple guys that we know about that would be legitimately interested in playing for us unless there's maybe a doubtful transfer out there. Um, Abdul Malik Aliyari, uh, we didn't get the scouting report from him, which that's the latest in a long line of guys we didn't get the scouting report for. So it's good and bad. Our scouting reports can get done quickly, but we're not seeing them. Uh, Soderberg. It's very bizarre, dude. Unless that's literally in my scouting center right now, but I don't think it, it I, I don't think it would be. They're trying to hand me David Turnbull and Ainsley Maitland Niles. Nice. It's like there's some, like, uh, some setting that none of us can think of that would be on that would be causing this. Yeah, it wasn't in here. So uh, we, we were hoodwinked and led astray. Hoodwinked and led astray. They didn't give it. We're still missing scouting reports. No matter where I decide to send them, we're still missing them.
No, it's just reports on people I've requested scouting reports from. Um, so it's not, it, it has nothing to do with like, you know, four days ago, we apparently finished scouting Marius Voral. I didn't see that at all. Or I would have added him to a short list because the guy's good. Like, I, uh, you know. Victor Vitterson, they keep telling me, but like, is it? Yeah, I just don't think that we're done scouting them or something. Like, I've tried to scout Victor Vitterson multiple times. I did not know it was done. No, the reports aren't going to somebody else in my backroom staff. We've been we, we've stared at this. Like, I I assign scouts. I handle scouting meetings. Scout feedback is something you cannot take over. Like the report, like. I don't know, man. I, I, there's so many moving parts when it comes to scouting in this game that I'm very hesitant to say, like, it's broken. But I think it's very clear that it is. Because now we've got, now where they're multiplying. We've got three Nerman Kariches there. And two Adam Oberts. Like, it's just being, like, you know, like, what, what is that, dude? But then if I cancel the assignment, they're all like, oh, wait, hold on. Now I'm I'm gonna go down to one Nerman Carriage. Yeah, it's just borked. I'll just tell you. I'm I yeah, I'm gonna restart the game. But I mean it was kinda happening yesterday too. I'm just like I don't know. You know, it's unusual. It's like a very weird it's an asymmetrical pickup in the game. You know, it's not like you, you, there's no obvious way to immediately be like, yes, this is what's going on. You just have to. Maybe FM just doesn't like France. 100%, dude. I, I tend to just hire the best scouts and send them everywhere. I always take a long-term view. And in FM24, it seems that when you send your scouts everywhere, they uh, they accumulate that knowledge of everywhere over time, but like faster than they have in the past. So it's like a practical thing to do to, to kind of do something like that. All righty. So what we're trying to do is trying to figure out how to intelligently spend the money we've got left. In order to make our team better. Do 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 do. Oh. Some shelter. Marcel Ratnik. Always has been the high potential lad, Marcel Ratnik. Tries first time shots in a center back. I'm sure that's a great time. I'm sure, he really enjoys himself.
Hey, that's like the first good Kazakh player I've ever seen, and he's playing at the Mamelodi Sundowns of all teams. Norali Alip. Totally decent. Very good player for South Africa. All right, Anthony Reno, Rual, something. All right, that's the center backs. The right wings, very, very important for us. We get somebody good here, and I do not want it to be. I don't. Why? Why do you love Stuart McKinstry so much? He's so not that dude. I do not understand your passionate love for Stuart McKinstry. Like it. It does not make any sense to me. I don't think he's very good. This is ridiculous. Honestly, Tayshon Buchanan might be the guy. Tejan Buchanan might be the guy. He's got the speed. He's got the raw speed. Shook I liked, but he doesn't like big matches. Paulo Fernandez is still free. And still not bad. Cape Verde supremacy. I mean... Get Mama Ball Day? Ah. I'd prefer beating him in some way. What about Hartog? Dude, where is Hartog on this list? Shouldn't he be here? There he is. So he's not interested, or is he interested in a transfer? And I just didn't see him. Uh, no, he's not. Unfortunately, he is no longer interested, although we could go back to doubtful. Moreno is nice. We, we've complimented Moreno in the past. Yeah, Stevanovic is always an okay player. Dude, Tapelo Maseko can play right wing. I had no idea. Our former guy at Orlando Pirates. Not the best version of Philip Stevanovic I've ever seen. Has not developed super well. Lazio's Diego Gonzalez. Don't worry, he'll be. We'll be as long as we remember to check him. We will be done scouting him instantly. All right, Ahmed Saba. Cool. Uh, no, nothing weird there. I got to introduce Sade. We are very excited about Lorenzo Sade. It's a really good opportunity. He's going to make us better in each and every match. Lift everyone. Fresh perspective. Absolutely nailed that press conference. <clears throat> you know, one thing, one, one other thing we could do is go general info and just look at people that would want to, like Harry Wilson's obviously out of the price range, but people that would at least be interested in a transfer that are perhaps cheap in some way. Isaac Mbinsa from Royal Chalewa.
I don't I, I don't know if we're getting another goalkeeper. I don't. Oh wow, there's nobody up here. Okay. It's a lot of impressive looking attributes for Mr. Smela Soro. Team of Baka Yoko, I guess 33 though. Where are you? Red Star? What are you doing, man? Oh, he's so expensive. Never mind. Never mind. I didn't mean it. What would Nemanja Maximovic expect in terms of playing time? Star? Never mind. I would not be willing to give him star playing time. Thank you. Razvan Marine. Cagliari defensive midfielder. I'm, I mean, he's playing in Serie A. We already know the answer. The dude's going to want to play every single game. So we don't... We, we don't want that. Yeah, we've hammered our director of football for recommendations a few times. We're just staring at players, waiting for the divine inspiration to strike. But the goalkeeper market, I, I seem to all, I have been in this position for years in football manager. Who the hell are you? And why do you have, like, why is your world reputation exceptional? Okay. He sounds familiar. I don't know why. Felipe Carnero. Wait, he's a YouTuber? It's a bug. Mass uh, random Brazilians. Get <laughs> nice. So random Brazilians just get huge world reputation. Felipe Cardero, big, a massive deal. Sao Paulo Futebol Club. They even play, I mean, he has that in his picture, but he's been all over. He said, America de Natal. America de, uh, yeah. You heard me. Zach Steffen's around, so that's fun. I don't think he'd be a meaningful upgrade over the keeper we have right now, but you never know. He's still at Man City. He's done loans with the um, Celta Vigo. That's it. It's not even the case in real life anymore. Oh, Domingos Duarte. What's up? Daiki Sugioka. Uh, oh, my God. It's John Brooks. The USA can't make the U.S. national team though. Still good years in the future. Hassam Abdel Maguid. The natural fitness is highly unsettling. You got to be able to move. So much freedom going on right now. now this is. Um one of the more difficult spots I've been in, I know we need to add, but I just don't know what I'm going to add. We well, got a better odds of being able to talk this guy down off the ledge of how much playing time he expects. We're going to go for that. Sign a replacement first. Now, screw you, dude. I've got the money. Let me do up front.
Well, that's not the amount of money that I was supposed to be dealing with on Muhammad Kaaba. That's way too much. I'll only do that if he takes, like, squad player. That's way too much. We gotta go. We gotta. We gotta stick a defensive midfielder. We only have two that I like on my entire team, and we've got the reserve guy who can do a job, but he's nowhere near the level we need. Also, like, my scouts don't update my shortlist. They, they don't work on updating the shortlists at all. You're frustrating me! There's still guys that have been here since uh, the South Africa days. They haven't had reports updated. I think we might need to get into deadline day and just get into that chaos, and then we'll look for some free loans as well. I really like Mohamed Kaba. Seven million is a lot of money for Mohamed Kaba. We're still like pre deadline day right now. do community outreach and team bonding every single time we need we need to build a camaraderie in the team most of these guys don't speak french we have like no french players on our team we need camaraderie oh my god no i'm not spending 10 million on muhammad kaba he's gone from being a potentially good deal to just not a deal that i want to do at all Tejan's what, 3.5? I'm getting him. I will just give you the 3.5. I got no idea what you're asking for now, dude. Where the hell have you been the entire time, Sadu Touré? Are you actually that cheap? Kid's only 20 years old, too. He got, like, no knowledge of him, but he's cheap as all get out. He's a bargain, and we've got him on the good list, and, uh, you know, 
The whole scouting thing is just weird. Like we've got, we know the attributes, but we don't like every everything. I mean, he like all these guys are better options than all the right wings we're looking at. We know their attributes. We just don't have a given star rating for them for whatever reason. My heart can't take this, man. This is ridiculous. The scouting that we're going through right now. Now, I remember looking at him a long time before, but like the, the report never landed, you know? The report never landed. Like, let's continue a day, all right? Let's continue a day. I'll start working on the transfer deal now because it looks like other teams are kind of lurking around it. But 1.1 million for Saidu Toure would be really nice. Uh, Buchanan wants important player. He's dubious about negotiating terms. Saidu Toure would need to be a star player if he wanted to come play here. I mean, yeah, like, let's just make sure he doesn't hate big matches. And then it's like, sure. Because he's, he, you know, he's, he's got natural goal scoring ability. He's freaking 20 years old. He speaks French because he is, he's from Belgium. I would be willing to wager he speaks French. I'll pay him $2 million a year to come and just ball out. Tejan Buchanan's more interested in other deals. But we'll try and negotiate a, um, like a reasonable sounding deal for him. I, I can't. That or we just go with this and only sign one of them. Because like the asking price for Tejan is really low and he does a really good job at what he does. Yeah, the Turkish guy looked good too. It's got to be this, and he's going to say no to it. So I like Tejan, but no. And then Emre Moore will wait. I think we're going to get a reports instantly because we already, like, we already know how good they are, you know? We literally already know how good they are. Oh, my need any old time to keep me waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, and now we're scouting these guys for two weeks. Bro, we already, oh, yeah, no, it's done already. The report is done. They're just saying that. The, the report is done. They're just saying that we need to scout over a few more weeks. Now, Emre Mora is the best option, but he also does not. Um, this is tricky. It's uh, do, Who do we want, Sadu Torre or Emre Mora? That's, that, that's it. That's the question. Who do we want, Sadu Torre or Emre Mora? Those are, the, those are the star right wings we have available. Very different players. Waiting, waiting. Do 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 do. Always the fast-paced player. That'd be Emery Moore over Saidu Torre, then. Both get one to be reserved. They both will want to be star players. So we'll just be, you will just be sowing discord in our own team if we do that. But
Yeah, I'm going to go with Sadu. I'm going with Sadu to a final answer. Doesn't have adaptability issues. Um, going to be able to integrate with the team faster. Going to be able to grow with the team. Good value play down the line. I actually like Emre more a little bit better as a player, but those other things going to push it in the right direction. I also like the fact that he's able to cut in, you know? I also like the fact that he's able to cut in because I think that's something that kind of fits our um, fits our team, but... So we're going to set up like that. We've got our offer out for uh, Sadu Toure. So yes, let's go shortlist, good, instant to transfer, goalkeeper. Check the loans list for goalkeepers. I mean, the track guy's not bad, but not good enough to make me want to uh, spin that foreign spot on him. Yeah, I think I think a loan may be the best move to try and get a goalkeeper. So let's get on to uh let's get on to deadline day. Oh my god, it's Zach Steffen, isn't it? How is it Zach Steffen? But seriously, how is how is it Zach Ste how is Zach Steffen like the It's America, baby? It's 32 year old American keeper Zach Steffen. Yeah, he is not a human. Alas. He's somehow non EU. Is the China guy better? Um, he has a name, first of all. Wow. Dude, it doesn't save the settings from those last thing. Did I take it off? I'll show you, but I'm pretty sure Stefan's better. Got better reflexes, better one-on-ones. Handling's actually gone to the Chinese guy. Bit of a push in the air with command of area aerial reach, just slightly to the Chinese guy. Mental stuff. Honestly, the Chinese guy is closer than I thought, but the the two attribute advantage and one on ones and reflexes, and most everything else being quite tight, does give it to Stefan. I think. I uh, like personally. Now, Zia, he has, like, very marginal potential and a mild dislike of big matches where Zach Steffen actually somehow uh, is a guy that likes big matches. Uh, once again, we've managed to scout somebody fully while not getting that report anywhere. Um, I'm obviously going to try and find out what's causing that this weekend, but... So it says you scouted him while you're at knock, you lose the star rating, but you have the attributes. That still doesn't explain us not getting the report and it just going away right here. Uh, like that would make sense in some sense, right? Because the star rating is relative to your team, but you would still know the attributes of the player. But also the fact that we added him to the scout list, it just goes away. 
and we don't get a notification that we finished scouting them. Something, yeah, it, something's off. Something's off. Okay. Are we going to drop $7.6 million on Zach Steffen? Are we actually going to do that? I really don't want to do that. It's Zach Steffen. No offense, Zach, if you're watching. <laughs> we really hate Claudio Ramos that much. All right, we could go for a star turn center back. We've got a – there is space in our team for us to add a center back that is a freaking beast. One of those guys is better. Looks like it's Anthony Ruol. That's kind of what I thought. Oh, well, it's not really. I thought his mental attributes are a little better than Diara's, but I guess they're not. Diara's got like some actual offensive ability that just seems to pop up. They're very similar, so I guess the question would be, who would you get for cheaper? And this guy could also play left back. Anthony Ruol can only play center back. Uh, the two pace difference for Anthony Uruol. Africa counts as EU. Like, everything counts as EU, except for South America and Asia. And then a couple, like, other countries, like Egypt doesn't count as EU. But there's a massive EU exception in France. All right. I'm sitting back down. We're going to have a thing. Yeah, or you just spend $20 million on Carlos Cuesta. I want to try that. Can we loan Stefan? Yeah, we can. That's that's a smart move. We're going to utilize loans, and we're going to loan Zach Stefan to be our number one goalkeeper for the rest of the season. Smart move. I hadn't even gotten my brain over to loans yet. I usually am there on deadline day. It's just going to grab a uh, hello. Uh, let's grab one, just one little loan. Yeah, normally I would check listed players, but we have so much money that we're really just trying to get the best player that we can, and listed players is really just going to ref like refine what we're looking at right now because we're looking at everybody 
that we have uh, knowledge of, at least that we can see, that has um, interest in transferring to us. Now, I am going to try something. Really, nobody? Is that like a knowledge threshold? You know, like, can I set a knowledge threshold? Like, you must know the exact attribute. I don't think I can. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to search. FM in game editor? Nope. Nope. Uh, there's no knowledge. So that doesn't work. I was like, well, I mean, maybe if, you know, we're, yeah, we have, we have knowledge of all these guys, but they, we don't have star ratings for them. Maybe we can just find them by doing that, <laughs> but it did not, uh, it didn't work. Maybe fun in theory, not fun in practice. Oh, there is. Okay. It just uh, just doesn't come up when you type in the knowledge thing there. Well, that still doesn't work, though, because it just gives me players that I um I have a star rating for. So I, I guess there's no way to do it. There are only 25 players in the whole list, so. All right, I'm going to explore the uh, row transfer. Dear God, man. Will you just... Whatever. Six to eight million, right? That was, that was it. Six to eight million. The value of that transfer was 19 million that they just sent to me. Six to eight million, they said. Oh, screw you. I'm, get, I'm getting the Bulgarian. 
I, I think I'll be able to get him for a lot less than that, whatever nonsense you guys are chucking around. 2.5 million got to submit it for further consideration. I'll do that. All right, Bulgarian, front and center. It's the same freaking team, dude. Anthony Roa and Musa Diara on the same team that I was just negotiating with. Like, what, 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 what is that? And why, on one player, you're taking me to the school of hard knocks, and on the other player, you're like, doors wide open. What playing time would you want? Carbonell is actually perfect to play as a defensive midfielder because he does not want a lot of playing time. Um, he's not great, obviously, for it, but he also fits the role and isn't going to cost an arm and a leg. Yo, Guinea scored! Guinea has scored, dude. They're on four points. Oh, that's basically Gambia out, though. Superb goal finished off by Agibu Kamara from a Traumatos in the Greek League. Agibu Kamara. And that puts Guinea with Senegal around the top of the group and really puts Cameroon in a bit of trouble. Cameroon will have to beat Guinea on the final match day. If they do anything other than beat them, they're probably in... They, well, no, Guinea's playing, um, uh, shoot, Guinea's playing Senegal and Cameroon's playing the Gambia, which actually be interesting. That means if the Gambia beats Cameroon, they go into third. There's everything to play for in that final match day. Cameroon wins or draws against, Ga draw against Gambia would be disastrous. They probably wouldn't go through, but a win and they'd probably go through. Where Guinea, with four points, is basically already through. Even if they get knocked down to third, four points is good enough to see you to the next round, so... That is a massive result for Guinea if they can get it that guarantees a spot in the next round that is going to be very hard to get against Senegal. Yeah, my, my copium on Gambia is absolutely massive. I am I am eating some copia on some uh, copium on Gambia. Tragic. Couldn't be me. I always said the Gambia was a bad team. Only thing I've ever said about the Gambia is that, you know, they're a below average team. They're a team that we never thought was uh, was that good. Obviously. I mean, why would anybody ever say uh, anything else? You know, anything else is my question. Um, why would anybody say anything else? They're clearly a bad team. <laughs> clearly, uh, yeah, you're, they're just a bad team. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have no idea where you would get any other thoughts planted in your head that the Gambia was a dark horse for the tournament. I wouldn't say that. It's the group of death. It's the group of death, you know? All right, I'm thinking we want Carbonell. He's 1.3 million. His playing time expectations are great. He contributes a lot to the team as a well-rounded player. They can play uh, defensive midfield or anything else. So now what we're going to do is go look at the loan list. Because we have offers out for a couple of key potential players. So we could bring in Parea. Kalusic is on the loan list, which would probably be uh, an intelligent move. Uh, do, do, do. I haven't really messed around with any Oliver Sorensen, but he's only 200000 If we wanted him, we'd just buy him. I don't need Oscar Perea. He's just not good enough. Jorge Ortiz can play both wings. Shifty dude. Marin Kalusic. 
Honestly, honestly, is he better than the than than Mugu? Where's my guy? What is his name? I thought it was Mugu. Ah, Mugu. So close. Wrong starting letter. Yes, he's better than him. He's a better athlete. Not a better passer, but he is uh, smarter, which is kind of part of the game. Unfortunately for some players. Uh, he's a better athlete, but he is actually worse technically. I, there's no, we already have that guy. I'm not, I'm not adding to the squad size unnecessarily. I'm not adding to the squad size unnecessarily. Okay. Deadline day. We're coming in hot. We've got a couple of deals out. Zach Steffen. Hopefully he takes that. All right. There's other teams that might be able to poach Alex Carbonell. I will send you on an intensive language course. That's something that makes sense. You're okay getting paid $1.1 million to play this year? Sounds good with me. We just needed a another defensive midfielder. You still have $35 million? I know I still have $35 million. I don't need to spend it. I don't need to spend it. We had the we we blew twenty million on Shelter up. I'm not afraid to spend the money. When there's a guy that comes in and it's like, yeah, he's gonna improve the team a lot, that's the guy we need to go get, then that's the guy we go get. But you I can't start eighteen dudes. You know, like I can't keep signing like guys that all are gonna wanna start all the time. Things can happen very quickly. We have a few deals that we're potentially working on. No, God, no. Somebody else came in for Martin Georgiev. Dennis Kagan. Well, that's fine. I'll just put him on the, uh, well, he's on the loan list, so nobody's there. Carbonell. Dang. Another one of the teams that uh, Carbonell liked. I think it's going to be a close one. So it's, uh, it's going to be a close one. Of course, you know, the only people getting offers are the ones that we've gone after. All right, George, you have pay five million for you. 5.75. Dude, just shut the, shut the front door. Just shut up. Just shut up. Fine. I'll take, I, I mean, it's so much less money up front. I'll just take it. It's fine. Now we got to go do another deal. I'm, 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 ah, 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 ah. You. Oh, it's the sign repl Okay, so he's just incredibly valuable to them because they would need to sign a replacement. Where this guy, they wouldn't, apparently. So the value goes way up, and I remove sign replacement. Where Musa Diara, we can throw an offer in on him, and it's like, woo, Rotnik, I don't like as much as those other two guys. I really like the Bulgarian. I like Musa Diara. We're going to sign one of them. We're not going to sign both of them. You feel me, homie? Do you feel me? Natro, thank you for the tier one, dude. I appreciate you, brother Jay. Thank you for the prime subscription. Bielik? Yeah, of course. I mean, we can scout instantly. We're, like, amazing. A make grown man cry. It's Mario Martin. I don't like big matches. It's, a my it's minor, though. It's minor. What do you want? I have no inclination to tell you how much he'd want to play. Well, then I have no inclination to offer you a freaking contract. <gasps> you said 1-1. One, one. 
Bro, you fooled me. It was oh, I was offside. Okay. I was all excited. Ismaila Soro. Oh, uh, I actually really like Ismaila Soro. He kind of hates big matches, but I don't I don't care. He's what, 29? Yeah, that's fine. His release clause, we're gonna trigger it. Just in case we don't get that other guy, Carbonell. If we don't get Carbonell, then we can bring in Ismaila Soro and we've got Ismaila Soro and we've got, you know. We're looking good. We got another workhorse in the defensive midfield. Another really good player. Uh, Lopez is definitely somebody, if they like recall him or something, that I would be super interested in. But wow, you're a really good player. How much would your uh, playing time? Oh, come on. He doesn't, he's not telling us his playing time, and he'd be 12 to 15 million. That dude would want it. Yeah. It was a good goal, too. I think, hey. Sorry, I mean, the Gambia is terrible. We all know the Gambia is just a you know really bad team. No talent, no players in top leagues. <sighs> Trying to reverse psychology them into scoring. And then Victor Vitterson is the player that kept getting recommended to me, and he is 50 shades of decent, but he's $20 million. Oh, Timu Bakioko. Just getting a little slow on me there, Timu. Tiam... Tiam... Uh, I'm not, I'm never going to say it exactly right, but you know, get close. Okay. Georgiev, deal accepted. You want to be an important player? Let's try regular starter, and you're not going to play wide center back. I don't know why. That's just like in vogue these days. Everybody wants to play wide center back, but, you know, we're just going to remove that. I'll give you a nice contract, Martin, and you will be a starter. And then Diara, Pi, just kind of want to bring you down there. They're trying to, oop, 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 oop. oop. You know, it's interesting how that how that's happening. And after we get promoted, I think you won't ask for it. So that's definitely way too low. That's that's definitely way too low. So let's at least. Oh, no, it's not. Should have trust my general manager on that one. Ah, Soro. You're not a star player, man. I just need one per. My team is too good. Gambia's got a worse national team than uh, Vatican City. Yeah, you heard it here first, actually. Very true. So, Mom and Kaba. I'm assuming they jacked this up. Um, why is this still here? Oh, it's the replacement player thing. That must be new this year. When you remove that, they go absolutely nuts. I don't really remember running into that in the past, but it totally makes sense. Like that, that's that that makes complete sense. Like they want a ton of money for him if you're not gonna get a replacement player on. So Sanderberga. Yeah, he would want important player. We really need to hit Carbonell. Hopefully he makes this decision quickly. We really need to hit on Carbonell. We got Stefan with the loan. We've got that young kid with the right wing spot. Martin Georgiev, they're still trying to get a better offer out of him. That's cool, Georgiev. You got a you got an available contract right over here, dude. You just slide on over. Ah, uh, yes, Mamadou Koulibaly. Hey, where who else was I uh, moving? Albrisson. Yeah, nobody nobody wants this guy. It's kind of crazy. Nobody wants Brinson. Yeah, deadline is in the first. Why am I getting a loan notification for that guy? Juan Castilla. Yeah, yeah, Atia Tala. Well, that's one of the guys that I like scouted, but never did anything with. Oh, well, he's not, he's not somebody we would want. So we're fine. Take the deal, Carbonell.
Oh, the Tanzanian's on the move. He's headed to um, Sweden. BK Hecken. The heck, man. It's good finds, not good enough. I actually did wait. I made one. Dude, st stop. I, I'm not interested in him. He's not on my short list. Stop sending him to my inbox. I did not do this. Lone interested, lone listed players. I did not switch it over. That's the big mistake that I made. Lone interested players of dubious. Lone interest. Kaluzic Sorensen. We'll just get Kaluzic if Carbonell's not good enough. Omre, thank you for the two months. Appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. Real Fred, I do appreciate the 18 months, and I'm glad everything... <laughs> what is wrong with my save? So many random weird things are happening that's making me uncomfortable. I've gotten three loan notifications for a guy that's not on any list that I click not interested on in like an hour and a half. Stop! I was having the same issue with scouting reports, fixing, switching back to the default skin, fix it for me. That... I'm going to mess around with it this weekend, but... They do, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I know how the skins work. It doesn't make any sense. It literally is just changing the visuals of what you see. It shouldn't change any of the processing of the game. The skin should do nothing, like the way that a skin works. But you never know 100% for sure with computer stuff, so I'm always willing to give that a shot. If one of these is that kid, I'm going to be... Dude, Oscar Perea is now available for under $10 million. Desperation is crippling. Deadline day is here. Alias chair. Have a seat right here, son. All right, our transfer deals. Stefan, Georgiev, or Diara, Carbonell, Saidu Toure, and our team would be complete. This is the one guy I really do care about loaning, so we're going to try the offer out. All right, we're waiting to hear the news on any of the guys we're working on. It's basically where we're at. We're just waiting to hear the news. Nothing yet. Nothing yet.
The Romanian winger uh, chose a different club over us. We went for that a while ago. Twiglet, thank you for the three months, dude. Appreciate you supporting the stream, my good man. This is tough because we got the 21 year old Romanian who could go to either us or Eintracht Frankfurt. Obviously, he's likely to go to Eintracht Frankfurt. Let's compare this to our left sided defender right now, Fi. I like Fi, but we're building a team to win. And if we've got a guy that's better than you, we'll bring him in. Why can I not find anybody in my... Uh, Mika Fai is just one name. Okay. No, you can't. You can't delay on deadline day. That's the issue. I'm going to reject it. All right, the defensive midfielder we liked, Alex Carbonell, has um, wants to reside in the nation that he lived in currently and has decided to stay with Olives. So we are still waiting on Sedu Torre. Um, damn. Okay, so let's take one more look at the center back situation now that the R is gone. So we knew we wanted there was Obert just got an offer. So they were all excited about Obert. Now let's compare even just him to um Lima. They are unbelievably similar physically. I've never seen two players as similar in an aspect of their game than these two players are. There is one attribute point of difference in the entire physical column. Do you know how absurd that is? That's insane. That's absolutely insane. These dudes are running stride for stride. Like <laughs> separated at birth, Slovakian, Adam Oberts and Portuguese, uh, Portuguese, uh, Nuno Lima. This is the spot in the lineup that we're we're looking at. This is that spot. Dude, Carbonell also has just hung me out to dry. So now we're looking at the midfielder stuff again because we didn't get Carbonell. There's Juan Castillas lurking around. What do we have? It's just defensive midfielders. Oh, it's on the loan list. Oops. It's like, why is Perea here? It's glitching out on the loan list part.
Bakia could probably be willing to take less uh, playing time, right? I've looked at Ulman, yeah. Uh, Bakio could probably be willing to take less playing time. Ulman doesn't really do it for me. The adaptability, the dislike of big matches. Martin's got the issue with the big match thing, and we don't know how much playing time he'd want. Oh, that was stupid. Uh, withdrawal interest, make a transfer offer. 20 million! No? Uh, just even regular starter would be fine. Even regular starter would be sensational. Even just regular starter would be really, really workable there. We'd be super okay with that. Tiemu Bakioko is like, you know, French old head, one cap for the French national team, played in big clubs, but been at Red Star the last couple of years deteriorating. Very aggressively. <laughs> we also, uh, we were going to loan deal for this dude. Oh, important player. Well, that's a bit of a cheese. I'll pay 100% of his wage. I'll pay that fee, but he's got to be a squad player, and that's locked. Like, oh, dude, you got to pay $110,000 for the privilege of Marin Kalusic. Like, okay. It's not really the same as the other guys we're looking at. More of a uh, facilitator, less of a space eater, and we're kind of looking for a space eater. Bakioko loan. Yeah, I might as well just buy him. He's four hundred twenty-five thousand. He'd only take a year-long contract. Uh, what's his wage? It's only the year. They probably would. Uh, they'd do that. Could get Bagioko for free. Ugh. I don't think we could get Bagioko for, uh, Bagioko for free. They'd nick us for 120000 Just a glancing blow on the transfer market. So we just float the offer out for Mario Martin. Yeah, let's see what he wants. Just give me regular starter, brother. All right, Stefan's in. So we got some good news. We got our goalkeeper. Zach Stefan is in. We needed competition at that position with Ramos. I, I think Zach Stevens a better keep, and uh, we've loaned him in for the year and covered his wage. Full time, Guinea wins. That is a Guinea's uh, basically in the next round. That's a massive win for them. Four points, even if they get pushed down to third. Cameroon's playing Gambia. If Guinea wins, they win the group in the final match day against Senegal, and they put Cameroon and Senegal lower down to be a giant mess, but. All right, Mario Martin. I don't. Oh, you're okay with that, though. I mean, all right then. I think. Then we can make this work, Mario. Then we can make this work. We can get ourselves one more good midfielder. Just be, uh, just be willing to take a little bit of a discount here. Seven million's a little steep on the upfront cost, but dude, just let me win. <laughs> it's been a long day on the transfer market. Just let me win. All right, Georgiev at center back would round out what would be a very nice day as long as no other offers are coming in for him. Agent summary. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you're, you're on it right now. All right, we got ourselves two goalkeepers. Claudio Ramos. You are going to cup. Oh, he is. He doesn't have an agent, does he? I know that look. That's the look of a guy without an agent. Well, guess what? You're my cup goalkeeper. Please don't get mad because Zach Steffen's going to be the starter. Uh, he takes up our third foreign play spot, but we needed a bit more of a reliable goalkeeper. Real song, you got to leave, man. I don't, what are you still doing here? What is Brian Sol doing here? Not getting signed. All right, sweet. Seydou, uh, we expected him to arrive. Or all day. What, what level are they at? Championnat National. Yeah, that's good. Oh, okay, sweet. Gregory Vasilenko got a good loan. Things are starting to look up. Right wing Sadu Traore for one point one million. Zach Stefanin as the goalkeeper. Sadu Traore. 
the Southampton youngster who spent last year on loan at Aberdeen. All right. Do we sign? Uh, do we sign Shelter up? Yes. We're just closing uh, closing our transfer window. Our unbelievably chaotic transfer window. Um, on deadline day here, Saidu Toure. Bro, you got, how, how do you not speak French? Oh, he has a basic understanding of French, so it shouldn't take him long to get like fully comfortable. Tejan's received offers, so he is going to move. Mario Martin, sweet. So we're waiting on Martin Georgiev. He's still deciding. But we're dropping $7 million up front for a very talented younger midfielder in Mario Martin. Probably good real sale value here, but this guy's got a good feel for the game. Very good defensive midfielder type player. Good athleticism, covers the field. We don't like that he mildly dislikes big matches, but this gives us three really, really, really good options at defensive midfield, and right now, we only have two. Oh, and from our rivals at Bordeaux, true. Child Detective, thank you for the three gifted subs. Oh, dude, thank you for the eight gifted subs. Let's go, Mario Martin. All right. Team's getting better. Team's getting better. Akomier, welcome him to the squad, please. And you are just going to be working as a, uh, let's say, like a defensive midfielder on support. It's kind of your best spot. Uh, it's a private matter. The Moose Diara thing was weird and impossible to explain to you, and Tejan got himself alone. Okay. Uh, dude, the question, how annoyed are you? The reported interest in Mario Martin has now become public knowledge. I don't think it'll affect our chances mainly because the guy's already on the team, but like, you know, other, there are other factors. Thank you so much, child detective for making eight people's days, giving them the ad free experience for supporting the stream with kindness. You're awesome. Vaseline. Uh, and thank you. I'm, I'm sorry. I was so buried in transfers. I didn't see the first five. But eight gifted subs is, is awesome. Uh, there's still enough. Yeah, we, we've got, we, we have plenty of money. We did a really good job of, well, we got the value that we could get from the guys. Vasilenko's got himself alone. Okay. Jun Sunho. I've been linked with Jung, Jung Ho Sung. I mean, dude looks fast as hell, but I have no idea. Sure, I'm going to flirt with him a little bit. I'll say that maybe we're interested. No get offers from agents. Um, we can kind of take a look through. So he just terminated his contract. <laughs> He's on my short list. Not anymore, he isn't. Ouch. Yeah, we were close to getting that guy, but we didn't. And then we ended up signing a better player. So, like, I'm not mad about it. We signed a better player. We still are very financially healthy as a team. Where's Stefan? All right, Bubikar Fall is going to go back down to the other squad, the second team, so he can play. Have fun there, dude. Ahmed Sabea. No idea how good you are, but apparently there's another transfer window where we can just sign guys. So maybe you're the guy. Thing at all. Everything you ever. Okay. Transfers out. Martin Georgiev. We cannot find a deal to save our lives. For Anthony Briançon, we would like for him to leave. And Dennis Kagan's on the loan list, but not optimistic. And I I still think Matisse Amugu's going to be a part of this team. Oh, no, we've improved our team to the point that Lalamella Bad Boy's potential isn't five-star anymore. No! Oh, it's the worst feeling. We found the ceiling on his potential. Norwich should put in an offer for Stephen O'Day.
Normally I would deny that, but sure. Optional future fee. I uh, know, but Claremont Foot is they're in League All. They want him to be a squad player in League All. Do you want him to just be a regular starter in the league above us? That'd be sick. Dude, my team is so talented that they want him as a regular starter in League All. We'd be loading him out into the league above us. Stefan Lekovic. Uh, I'm actually going to take that. And then the O'Day transfer, I'm not, I'm actually not super against this. Um, I think if you gave us like actual deadline day level money, 6.5 million for Stephen O'Day is kind of crazy. And we've got a chance to do something real fun on deadline day, which is maybe we can go get a better striker. We haven't looked at strikers in a long time, but maybe, <laughs> maybe just there's a superstar striker out there named Mama Balday. That we haven't messed around with yet. That dude was running me, though. Santiago Castro. That's already on loan from City for Tessin. No. Just uh, just having a little look-see, a little, uh, little peek around the corner here just to see if there's any quality strikers out there. Mom, I like the fact that Mama Balde popped up immediately. It was like, have you heard of our Lord and Savior, Mama Balde? Adam Books is still not on a team. Uh, I, I, you know, no transfer discipline at all. We got to check our, uh, our short list first. That's where you're going to find some of the best guys. Fiston Kalalamayele is playing at Pyramids. I have no idea how good he is. Same with Andrew Pereira. At Newell's Old Boys, Lazakovich. I don't think there's multiple good Belarusians, to be honest. Do, 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 do. Fringe player at Nice. Oh, this is Lona Men. I'll just sell him and loan it a backup for a year. Evan Gasson. He's like a he's better than O'Day. <laughs> we'll just loan him in as a backup for the year. Screw it. That's that's stonks right there. We'll just low, sell O'Day for a bunch of money, free up that wage budget, spend uh, a little bit, get Gasson in. It's just straight stonks. Uh, Gasson said yes. Briançon said yes to a deal to leave and join Pal FC, who are in our league, apparently. So have fun with that, dude. I, I'm aware of those guys are on the loan list. I appreciate it. Sorry, they need to apply it. I, I think after application, it's supposed to go through. Confirm the loan signing of Zach Steffen in this window. I'm really pleased City agreed to send him here. Guys, do you remember it was supposed to get accepted, right? Like on further appeal, it was supposed to get accepted. Because we have the deal for Evan Gasol right now that we like have to move on. So like Lekovic, we're going to loan like an absolutely hilarious loan opportunity for Lekovic to go into the into the top flight to play as a regular starter as we work our way back up there, hopefully. And then Evan Gasson. I guess he's already there as like an impact sub, so I, there's no harm in taking him. Right? We'll take him, and I'm assuming Ode's transfer is going to go through. Lekovic is there. Gasson joins the club. Yay. We love that for our boy. Evan Gasson. Little, little lone tomfoolery on the final day. They're taking the deal. He gets a 15% sell on, but we get 5.5 million. They're taking the deal even without the uh, work permit. They signed him anyways. We're getting the 6.5 million. Hey, Steven, you were one of the few guys that was on this team when it got relegated. That's still here. Mad respect, Steven O'Day. Thank you for getting me some cash. Yeah, I get an SEC spot. Yeah, probably. He failed his work permits, but they're still splashing a deadline signing for Norwich. 
Norwich fans are about to all convince themselves that Stephen O'Day is the star of the future. And we now have nearly 30 million in the transfer budget still. Just absolutely absurd ability to to flip all this around. So where where's my boy Gasson? A very good number two striker who could very well take the spot from Alvaro Rodriguez. I mean, he has the same jumping rate. Like, he might be better than Alvaro Rodriguez. Have we considered the possibility? I mean... A little bit. Probably is. But at the very least, we have interchangeable parts. Two strikers that we absolutely adore their quality. Mario Martin's going to take that spot on the bench. But Lorenzo said it's going to start over Alain Diallo in the most recent match because Alain Diallo has played well a couple of times. All right, I think our team's ready. We just need that center back. Also, Mamadou Koulibaly, if we can get money for Mamadou Koulibaly, we might as well. He'd prefer to stay here, but I don't know. What, what was his playing time? I suppose we can check in a second. It's all the same, guys. We're just getting like a spam of uh, this guy's on the loan list. Squad player, can we drop that to the fringe? I'm going to. It's very happy to be the guy. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to mess with that guy. He's he's fine. He's good deep cover. Then they don't know the work we've put in to get that Sadu Torre deal done. I agree. I agree with what I said there. <laughs> Selling him did maximize income, Stephen O'Day, and then yeah, we had we had our we had our lists ready. We had a very quick loan that we could turn. A very quick loan that we could turn in order to fill the team out. Is he going to decide? When is the decision coming, bro? You have to choose. There's two hours left, Martin. The other bid's gone. I'm your bid. Take the bid, Martin. Martin, you're freaking me out here, man. Martin. Come on, he'll accept. He'll accept. If he's the only uh if he's the only guy, yeah. If if we're the only offer, if Eintrack Frankfurt's pulled out, Martin. Martin. Better be. He better be on this one. Martin, there is 45 minutes left. It's going to resubmit that there, Martin. Hey, Martin. It's going to give him a little, just poke him real quick, like try and wake him up. This game's broken, man. This game is broken. That deal was set 
like days before deadline day, man. We had the deal done days before deadline day. And he didn't accept. Even after Frankfurt pulled out, he still didn't accept. That I've really been enjoying FM24, but today and a little bit of yesterday, it feels like there's some broken things in it. So we don't have our we, we don't have a center back. We did we didn't get our last center back edition, so the Lekovich loan actually has left us a little short in the center back department. We may end up signing this weird uh the, the, you're not weird, sorry. This Syrian dude. The free center back. Some sort of deal. But He's weird. We, we talked about why he was weird earlier. Guy doesn't have a lot of strength. He's not like a normal center back, but he's not bad. I I mean I, I is I don't know how the skin would just immediately make the game weird. We've been using this skin for years. A little late now. God, it's so ugly. Like, how do you not put attributes on this page? Like, there's no logical explanation for how the skin would affect it. But I'm, I'm out of things to try, so. The number one reason to use the skin is that the attributes are not on the scouting center page. Payroll budgets and league do it. We're top. There's no way we're not top. I'd be really surprised if we didn't have the biggest payroll in the league. Yeah, we have the biggest payroll in the league. It's not close. Like, we need to dominate. <laughs> our expectation, we have Andreas Shelder up as our left wing in league duo. Like, Calvin Ramsey's our right wing, okay? We've got an Ajax midfielder leading the line. The corpse of Luca Dean's on the left side. Like, Should be, should be easy, and yet it's been a very uncomfortable, incohesive transfer window. Right, our team cohesion is very poor because everybody wanted to leave, so we got everybody out and we brought a new team in. And we're either going to sink or uh, sink or swim. Right, we need things to click. We need things to click with the team, and we're either going to sink or swim. Oh, we don't have a match for days, but yeah, Stefan will be on there. Don't worry. Replace Brianson as the vice captain. Honestly, somehow Elaine Diallo is uh, the guy. Like, what's our hierarchy look like? So Martin's already on the second highest level. So I'm going to go with Martin, even though he quite literally just got here. Great leader, you know? Hi. Very pleased. I'm um, Stefan. While younger players bring a little uncertainty and doubt, uh, yeah, I think he can, he can help us straight away. We do have a lot of young players. Only takes one moment to win or lose a match. That's why we brought him in, you know? Mario Martina, I hope he can make a huge contribution. I mean, we have three really good midfielders now in that spot. Zach has the right attributes to come in here and play a really important role. Um, not looking past the loan deal at this time. Uh, Sadie Torre already kind of speaks 
French, so. Zach Steffen find it easy to join in the squad social groups? I have no idea. I'm not setting up Zach Steffen's social calendar, you know? I can't believe that happened. I really can't believe that that, uh, that it happened. I've never seen that happen, and um, I've never seen that happen in FM, what just happened. All right, we, we went right through the deadline day, and he never even came back to me. Now we're having this happen again. I'm getting like four loan list notifications. Let's see if I take the skin off if that happens. Yo. My imagination. Oh, this is a banger, yeah. Not Stefan. Shelter up's picked, but everybody else that needs uh needs to pick up a little sharpness, yeah. Step out there with Saint Etienne Dua. Go play you a match. Still got the previous version of the skin. Maybe go to that. I Let me put it this way. I hope it's the skin. I really hope it's the skin. Because if it's not, the save might be borked. Like if it's not, the save might be messed up. Or football manager might be misfiring in a way that it needs to patch. Like, I don't know. So I, I, I don't know how it would be, but I hope it's the skin. I hope we don't run into any of that nonsense now. You can sign a French dude now. So let me read the rules of the um so let me Rua is still in play. So transfer window, normal one, restricted windows, domestic transfers only. Joker window, only one player from any French club can be signed. So I can sign uh one player from any French club. Injury replacement transfers only. Uh, try, uh, try. I can't get no. All right. Well, we are missing one center back from our transfer business. So, oh, what's up, dude? Anthony Euro. Would you perhaps be curious in a transfer move? Oh, there are already they're already intrigued by uh me rolling up with the checkbook like, "Hey, Oruo, would you be curious?" All of a sudden they're down. Hey, hey, hey. That's what I say. Well, I love a Joker transfer window then. My goodness. I love me a Joker transfer window. I'm going to get him to take a serious discount. I was, you know, Joker transfer window. I was joking. I was the one joking. All right, Joker transfer window. We are going after Anthony Rio. Because it's not deadline day, they're not as crazy about it. They'll take $7.5 million for him. He'll walk right into our first team as their right center back. And we are going to have such a ridiculously stacked team that we should be out here having a really good time. Plus, he's better. Ah, I really did like that Bulgarian guy. 21 caps for Bulgaria, 21 years of age. That's, that's the real deal. Am I excited for the Bucks? Absolutely, dude. I am so excited for the Bucks. I hope they do the business in Detroit this weekend. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers to the NFC title game. It's it's right there before us. 
Detroit is not one of the better teams left, and neither are we. But we could just sneak our way into the last four. No, we'll be, I'll be, we, you know, only people from Tampa and surrounding areas will be rooting for the Buccaneers. Everybody else will be rooting for the Detroit Lions. But, you know, if the Bucs win, then you can you know, at least be happy for me, right? Bucks are going down. Ooh, talking a lot of smack. We're a perennial playoff team. What's up? I'll be rooting for the Buccaneers from France. No idea what sport. It's NFL. No worries. It's just my local NFL team is uh, in the playoffs. We're trying to get to the Super Bowl, which you may have heard of. Um, I don't know. But it's the championship for the NFL. And we are two games away from the Super Bowl. If we can win those two games, that would be sick. Well, Mario Marti needs to develop his weaker foot. Both those guys definitely should have been on the loan list from the beginning. Where was that recommendation a month ago, guys? I have this meeting every month. We had two of these in the transfer window. You didn't give me that either time. So I'm going to bully Bordeaux in the Joker window, and then we are going to be sailing. We're going to have the team that we wanted, which means if we fail, then that's my failure because we're going to have... Not everybody that we wanted to sign over the window, but we're going to have a team that I'm sitting there looking at going like, hey. No, I didn't get any loan updates after the skin thing. So, I mean, well, hey, 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 hey. Just got one. Let me look at my recruitment uh, focuses. Do we have any duplicates? No. Are we going to get reports where I tell the reports to go? That's the next question. Let me go to the player search and just scout a couple guys and see if we end up getting the reports in the right spot. Let's have to pay attention. There's still a duplicate. The Ukrainian. Oh, you're right. There's still a duplicate, so I, uh, my optimism is low. Maybe that was a holdover. That could have been a holdover. All right, we've made our final signing. Anthony Rual. Our final signing of what has been a, a profligate transfer window. Anthony Rual, who steps in as an experienced center back of the last four years for the team in Ligue 2. A very accomplished, confident, athletic good with the ball center back it can help us play out from the back with quality 7.5 million for Anthony Rual. in the Joker transfer window what's up he's in yeah, so he, I mean the only other explanation would then be wait is he just automatically in yeah I guess I get you somebody. Cold Zager for the 14 months. Yeah, it's good addition. Guy steps right into the starting 11 um, over Lima. Lima then becomes a sub. We have Mbabu. We have Scales. We have we have we can get hit with an injury in any position, and we shall we we still should be able to win the league. Uh, comfortably. That is a nice feeling. That That's our goal. They're, we're expecting nothing less than at the end of the day, we win the league here. We're going to get better. Um, we are going to get better over the course of the season. We spent 40 million, but we took in 89. We spent 40 million, but we took in 89. So we left the club in a good state. We moved on the players that didn't want to be here. We still have ammo if we need to go after somebody in the uh, January transfer window. Yeah, Ruol is definitely a guy we've admired for a lot of the transfer window. They were just asking for 
silly money for him before, but we're able to sneak him in before this Basti again. Yeah, Chad, I'm not thinking it's a skin issue. We just got three loan notifications for Jakob Yaksh consecutively. I don't even know who this guy is. He's not even on a short list of mine. He's just previously scouted, and that's getting thrown in here. Now, if we go to the settings, right? Previously scouted. Um... Recently loan listed, I want in the scouting center. Recently transfer list, I want in the scouting center. Well, we might as well have it look pretty while it sucks. Well, I mean, we'll test this a little more, but. And I don't know I see. Preseason odds post transfer. I mean, we have dropped points in our last two games while well, Mets has gone and won every game. But the last season preview is us on top. Bow show. And I want to take this new team for a spin, dude. Thank you for continuously uh, reminding me about Rule because I recall you saying the training was not right. The base, the, the base skin really sucks. Both those guys can definitely do that. They're both ball players, and we are going to be a very ball playing oriented team. We're hopefully going to be very fun to watch. Um, oh, sweet. I did train Alvaro Rodriguez to use both feet, which is actually really nice. I didn't expect that to work, but Alvaro Rodriguez is now down to use both feet, which is great news. Just gotta teach him how to use his head now. Tough. Tough crowd. This guy ended up being all right, but he's short and not strong, which makes you know a little hard to be a great center back when that's the case, but a break glass in case of emergency type signing. Maybe delete the SI folder and keep the save. Yeah, like you mean like re-download the game? Maybe. I'm actually like, I know some of the guys that work there. I'm legitimately just gonna text them as a friend and be like, hey, have you heard of this? Like I I'll see what I can find out. I'm gonna look at the forums and everything. Cause I I'm I'm gonna assume that it is highly unlikely I am the only person that has run into a particular issue. Now we're, uh, we're going to play this match on the normal skin, which is going to drive me nuts. But so Royal uh, Ramsey, Bravo, Vanden Bowman, Torre, Side, Shelter up, Alvaro Rodriguez. We got our bench set. Shimshir is returning to full fitness in two days, which sucks because we just had bad boy pick up a slight knock as well. So we're a little light on the wings. Alain Diallo is going to be our sub. Wrong goalkeeper. Thank you. Zach Steffen.
So don't do it yourself. I mean, I know how, I, I know how to save all the parts of Football Manager, delete and re-download the game. I do know how to do that. But that, at least, I shouldn't be a lost little puppy about it. He'll be upset, right? Yep. Well, that's tricky a little bit. All right, Lorenzo said you are playing today. I am excited for you. I hope you're able to give a good show of your ability. And I want a dominant, dominant display. We should own these guys. We really, really should own these guys. Um, move the ball with a purpose. Oh, wow. We need five numbers. So, Ruel, Gasson, Stefan. Just going to go ahead and give you like 91. Mario Martin, Saidu Torre. All right, sweet. So, match should be winning. Uh, no, just stick to the plan. Be patient. We'll be fine. Not going to put too much pressure on them. Good crowd on hand. Yeah, the seven subs is not fun. No oh, way. Did you see who's at the bottom of the table? It's Quavilli Rouen. The Tycoon Takeover Club is literally 18th out of 18. Pavili Rua is actually the bottom of the table. That, that is brutal. Completely mudded. This is what the skin looks like, huh? Interesting. All right, we got these ball players. They're going to be more aggressive. They're going to try and occupy defenders, do a little ball carrying, make more aggressive passes to open up the team. We're really spread teams out, so there should be good space in the middle for us to work with. Ooh, oh, my. Alvaro, you're like the weak link in the team, man. How did that happen? You've got 30 appearances for Real Madrid, Alvaro Rodriguez. Figure it out. That was a peach. Strikers dream of that sort of opportunity. What is that? Oh, whatever. We'll be fine. Shelter up. Uh, oh, yes. Toure. Oh, Saito Toure. He does have 16 finishing. That dude can put the ball in the net for a wing. Stefan would have scored. I would have scored that. You're just waltzing into the middle of the box. Just got to hit the target. Yeah, our Gasson, our new bench striker. The guy we loaned in on deadline day from Lille's bench. Yeah, I think he might have he might have had a chance to put that away. We have been really dominant. Vanden Bowman. Oh, Rodriguez is hurt. What an excuse. What an opportunity. <laughs> hey, Evan. Evan, you're in. Alvaro Rodriguez has picked up a knock. What a brutal moment. We got to sub him out and bring in Evan Gasol. Your tablet's awful. I mean, we're, we're, where you had to, so very long story. We're not playing in the skin that I normally do. This is the first game we've played on it. I haven't really messed around with the tablet. Uh, obviously it's got, you know, a bunch of stupid stuff on it. Um, you know, this is exactly, weirdly enough, it's exactly what I wanted it to, uh, to say, um, totally. So let's go with the visualizer and the match momentum. Are you happy now? 
Change something. Yeah, I, I needed to put I, the match momentum and the visualizer. I look at a lot, so I need to put those in there. Oh, here's Sade, the Mozambican wonder kid, Mozambique Messi. Uh, you could tell he was he was cooking. You could tell he was cooking up something. That's all right, dude. Mika Fi, how do we let them get that ball? Mika, how on earth do we let them get that ball? They should not have the ball. We should have the ball. Thank you. God, guys, what in God's green earth are we doing? We're just, get, like, they're not even pressing us. That was a yeah, no, that was a cohesion goal. Uh, uh. We'll pick him up. We got a couple of guys that are putting in really bad performances, particularly Luca Dean. We're gonna we're gonna get a fullback on support with Liam Scales on the left side. Uh, we also get a bad match out of um, Lorenzo Side, so I'm gonna go with Alain Diallo. Two halftime changes. Side just. Was much better off the bench than he was the starter today. And look at Dane, just bad. Everybody's learning, everybody. We got a completely new team, which is very rare at this level. We have very poor team cohesion, especially with the, the possession style. He's off. He's offside. Thank you. Good save by Stefan. Everybody's learning everybody else, but man, we were the better team for the most of that half. It's just a really, we're not, we don't even play at a particularly high tempo the way we set up to play this game. So. All right, Torre. We've shown really nice heart and uh, gutsy responses when we've been in this position in the past. So need a little more of the same from our leaders. Oh, nearly slipped through. All right, shelter up. Bravo. Oh, say dude, square it. Shelter up. Goal. Stay the course. Stay the course, boys. Stay the course. Great ball from Bravo. Great first time ball by Torre. Right to Andre, shelter up. Our influential star winger duo combining for a goal early in the second half. Let's get the results. Just get the results. Nice. Oh, nicely done. Oh, Sadu. I liked it. Well worked by Ramsey. He's drawn two, so if he can get this in. There you go. Pen. Oh, never mind. Alain Diallo. It's the youngster who scores again for St. Antion. Alain Diallo, never a doubt. Diallo's a dog. Couldn't have said it better myself. That brother is a dog. He gets after it. Now our ability to possess and our quality on the ball and our lack of tempo is going to really help us suffocate a game. Now we've got the game back under control completely. That was that was nice. Vanden Bowman. Shelter up. Love it. Love it. Shelter up turning on the style. Oh, we've got Vanden Bowman. Oh, we've got Gasol. Evan Gasol. Uh, we don't know if he's on or not. I think I think he was on. I mean, yeah. There you go. Three one. <laughs> Stick it out. Believe in the process. You know, you should never. When you allow one goal, you should never be like, "Oh, the tactics bad. Oh, we're screwed. Season's ruined." You know. 
Trust the process. We like the guys we brought in. The, we like the team that we've put together. We like the business that we've done. We just got to get them to learn each other's names and speak French and like be able to do, be able to do it. We got to manage our expectations until then. This has been a quality performance against a team we should be handling, and we have handled them. Great work, dude. That is tremendous work. Great heart. I like Gasson getting a goal in his debut. And uh, Mets drew, I think. So that's that's great news. Mets drew against Valencien and a 90th minute equalizer from Valencien. So that's that's sick. Auger beat Quivilli Rouen in the 92nd minute. So <laughs> still sucks to beat Quivilli Rouen, apparently. Alvaro's out for the next match as well. So Gasson has a chance to just like put both hands on the starting uh, starting job. All right, there should be some stuff in the scouting center. Oh, there's a ton of stuff in the scouting center. All right, well, guys, we'll be back. Um, I'm going to continue to create different save points, but that's it for today. Um, I'm glad we could end it on a win on an up note. We're going to try and figure out what the issues with the scouting are because scouting's just been incredibly weird. But I had a great time on stream today. Uh, we're going to raid somebody, so stick around for that if you can. If you got a few minutes, we're going to go make somebody's day. I love you guys. Fist bump. Thank you so much for all the subs today. Child Detective, thank you again for the gifted subs. Loke, Chase, Colds, thank you uh, to everybody that supports the stream, allows us to do this. And hopefully you enjoy the stuff that we got coming out, including a video that's coming out tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for everything. Let's find somebody to uh, let's find somebody to raid. On Monday, we will be playing with Carl Jacobs. Carl is learning football manager, or I'm teaching Carl football manager, and we have a save going in Catania in Italy, and it is kind of funny to watch him um, <laughs> learn how to play and try and bring some players in. So grab the copy pasta. We're going to spam that whenever we figure out where we are, uh, wherever we're going. Good up, McKins. I haven't seen him in a long time. All right, probably have. I just haven't raided McKins a long time, dude. From the old streamer showdown days, he used to compete in the streamer showdown. Real fun lad. All right, guys, have a fantastic weekend. I hope your team wins. Keep your eyes peeled on Afcon, on Asian Cup. Is that some of the best stuff going on right now? Oh, spam the uh, spam the copy pasta, and I'll see you on Monday with Carl. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Word of the day. Word of the day. Harang. Harang. Nice. H-R-A-N-G-U-E. A harangue is a forceful or angry speech or piece of writing. After watching the popular documentary,